to the Alternate 2023. Nerd. In 2023. Happy New our Year. First, our first podcast. That's right. We're looking back. We're looking back into 2022 to do a year in review, as mentioned on the last live stream we did when I was in town. As you may notice, I am no longer in town. But welcome back. Leave you know, it. it was good. We had good times. Yeah. It was the holidays. We did have we had less content going on, but I assure you, we had a great time. And the holiday special will be well worth the wait. It is very good, <laughs> uh, very good. Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was really it was Star Wars celebration was a big one for all of us. I know. Go to point number one. I mean that that alone kind of makes the best year. day my, best day of my life. Johnny had Johnny had a couple of those. He had a couple of best days of his couple life. Couple best days. Um, couple few. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you we, we you've all seen the vlogs if you're watching this. Seen Hayden getting that you and smile. All that, all it was all they amazing. may have, or they may have not. If if not, check them out. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't watched the vlog, yeah, definitely you, do. You, you can watch Johnny's chin for a uh, for, for an hour. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding. I was a shy little, I was a shy little guy. Johnny caught a stray. No, I uh, go. It's a Mark out. Ellis moment. Hey, Mark yeah, Ellis. Hey, Mark Ellis. Cut. Good moment. Awesome. Why, Why did you turn film? the camera? Why did you turn the camera? Why did I film? All right, I didn't want to stick the, the I didn't want to stick the camera in the in the face of the podcast. face of Mark also, Ellis. It was a 2022. We're moment. going deep into Mark Ellis. We're going deep into 2022. Going vlogs to understand these inside jokes. And what else? I mean, yeah. Ben, what you, else? Uh, I joined the channel. What else? Yeah, yeah. Are you are you are you pooping me? What else? You got him right next to you, buddy. Happened officially in August. I want to say. Not that long. Yeah, you've always you've always kind of been you've always kind of been in my in my heart. Officially, Ben's been around. The nerd was it was August. Was it really August? It was, it was the, right when right when Dylan yeah, was shipping off to his new school, and we're like, and we were no, he shipping off to his Domino's job. His Domino's job. And that was not that long ago. It feels like you've been. It feels like a long time. Much exactly. Longer. Well, he. I mean, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's when he was officially dubbed. But he's already been. I know. I, he's I, on know. It for a while. I've been around, but I don't officially, know, but officially nerd. I mean, that, that, that's a big twenty twenty two sure, thing. Yes. That happened in August. Yes. That is months after celebration we're growing guys took you guys long enough um, i know yeah so that was that was a fun I, I know. Uh, well i feel like at a point it was like already like you kind of just kind of already are and we just never officially said it but okay I, know. well it officially happened in august i've been around officially as a happened, yeah. bad batch watcher since for a little while since bad batch <laughs> May, May about Star yeah. wars let's why don't we briefly talk about what happened to star wars this year because um, if you haven't noticed, uh, much. We're, we're sort of a Star Wars channel, a little bit, a little yeah, bit, sort of, kind of. Um, some other things, but mostly Star Wars. So starting off the year, Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, which we'll go for. I mean, I don't think we ever worked it out for our Such top a five. Bad, horrible show. Right, do we count Book of Boba as a 2021 or a 2022? I'm I do. As, I'm inclined to count it as a 21, honestly. If it starts I in 2021, too. I'm inclined to say where it starts is where as where it is because I think we have to stay consistent. However, sure, but I think it can be both because it ran into 2022, and I think it it, it can be Either it can way, be indoctrinated spoiler, into, into a 2022. It, it, it would list. not end up on my top five, but I no, think it after, might, after, might after recalibration, time. maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. I think I've done some it's, recalibrating. It would not. After Book of Boba, we rolled right into Kenobi season and coinciding with Celebration, and then from Kenobi into Andor for our that rounds out our three Star Wars shows, live action ones. We also oh, had Tales of the Jedi, the Jedi, and yeah. one episode of Bad Batch. No, no, never mind. That was January fourth. Never mind. Yeah. No. 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 Um. How are we rating yes. this as far as Star Wars years go? I think people are sleeping on how good of a year it was for Star Wars. It was a very oh, 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 oh. it was a very divided a bit, year, man. I think a little yeah, bit. It was a very divided year. year. It was a good in year. It was a good how year. Much, We're all in agreement, but how, how much content we divided got, year? But I don't think Great. that Boba or Kenobi were exceptionally good. I think they were both fine TV shows. It's true, but not on the Mandalorian level. Now Andor, on the other hand, and it could have just been Andor this year, and I'd be like, good Star Wars year. Because well, for me, I got I got Brotherhood, I got Shadows of the Sith, I got oh man, I got so okay, much yeah, good sure, books, comics, that more content. That, 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 that yeah, stuff he got stuff. F- In figures, Empire, no figures, video shit. games, except for like Star Wars, like Hunters, no, they, maybe Hunters didn't even come out. Still, Hunters didn't come Hunters out. Hunters hasn't even come out yet. So uh, yeah. screw video games. Bad video games. Good uh, good uh, good figures this year. Good Star Wars figures. Yeah, great. Figures. Levi has some good behind figure. him. Here. Do if you couldn't if you oh, couldn't tell. I, I, I think we're up on Star Wars twenty twenty. This was this was this year, Mando. Anyways, 
like what? the face. Yeah. If you if you Reaction think back face? there. What about um, the? I I got a lot of new figs this year. So. Yeah, dude, Ben he did. almost. He went from ben, zero to hero. Ben got, got, got I didn't the go bug. from zero to hero though, but I. Ben got the figure that's bug. That, that, from, that's uh, not Levi true necessarily, but. I, I've been having figs for a while now, but the the collection did grow uh, considerably. Shout out, Corey yeah, you from never, the Conver call. <laughs> you've never shown your uh, your stuff. It's Neither have I actually. Maybe I, I, I can upload a, a picture. Well, because his Johnny's setup changes constantly. Maybe I can I can yes, upload a picture of my. Uh, yeah, problem. I think I think this is a fresh Johnny setup. I'm not sure if we've ever seen this background. On the no, it, it, mm. it, it's one of my favorite no, running channel not. bits. Every single time this guy comes on, he got a different background. It's a different, he's in a different place. You got that yeah. dope painting. I, I, liked, like, I like I like to switch it up. Keep it. Umbrella. That painting keep it, uh, you, keep it interesting. Gives, gives me a weird. Let's do, vibe. Uh, let's do a quick painting review. Yeah. I like that painting. Gives I got that painting an eight. Vibe. I got that painting an eight out of ten. I like that. Oh, painting. Yeah, like a four out of ten. It feels like yeah, that's a, that's feels, a four painting. It, for it you? feels like elitist, man. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I like it. Okay. All right. Well, that's Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. painting. Did, did anything else happen in Star Wars this year? Uh, uh, yeah. Tales, my friend. We forgot about Tales. About Tales. No, we didn't. But you said Andor. Yeah, oh, and Tails. Tails. Well, we mentioned I feel that. like Tales was Tails was a Tails was a uh, Tails was a, a hit. A, a sure. surprise. It was a hit. A surprise to be sure. I've I've, I've I've um I've warmed on Tails. I was pretty yeah. You not were lukewarm, but I was in the I beginning was hostile towards the end of Tales. At least you were hostile. As Ben is, the episode six really rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, beforehand, I was really worried about Dooku. Then the Dooku stuff turned out. Dooku stuff was great. And I'm, I got, da- I'm still down in ep six, but and then it got shanked in the gut. By Filoni with F six, but then I, I've sure. I've I've warmed on it. He, I, I'm, he's he's healed from a shank. Um, mine is still maybe. fresh and infected. Actually, it is crazy. That is the nails came out gross. three it's months ago. Necrotic flesh. It three is. It's red from that shank wound. Okay. Tails. Oh, tails okay. okay. Tails. Okay. Tails does not. Well, feel I'm like... allowed to be negative. I did not tails, like that episode. Tails. Tails does not feel like that's fine. Episode. I didn't like it particularly either. But it was. So. And even Andor it was. So... Andor yeah. was awesome though. And it was a good Star Wars year, guys. I think. Just was. We got live action Cad Bane. We got a, the best looking live. Oh, Luke Skywalker. Yeah, best good Luke. Luke Skywalker. Action, we got good Ahsoka face. and Luke talking. Best, hey, you can say best looking live action Luke okay. Skywalker since 1983. I mean. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I started to say that, but I was like, yeah. It's true. It's true, though. That's the best, the best Luke content we've had. Well, for me, since Last Jedi, but for most people. Wow. Yeah, I was oh, going oh, to say. I, was I, was gonna say oh, I thought I had you for a second. No. I thought you were going to say not. since. But I, but okay. I recognize that well. it's like that, that's Luke that people wanted, want to see. And I want to see it too. So yeah, sure. you, even, though, even though you think the, the, Mando, the Mando moment doesn't really. Yeah. It's not we're that gonna, big of a deal. Get, oh, we're going to do this debate again. Oh, yeah. I, got, I, I, no, we don't have I think Book of Boba is eons better than Zen. Grogu Mando. and the Dust Bunny. Young, young. The first time we've seen Young Dooku in a in um animated or live action content. Oh, not live action, but S- animated stuff content. This year. Uh, that's true, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, a lot of a lot of moment. Lot, I mean, yeah, I know. So, so I mean, you know, we didn't talk about. It. I know we mentioned it. We talked about it a little bit, but I mean, the amount of shit at Celebration was. We saw it. We saw we saw Ahsoka footage. We watched an episode of Tales of the Jedi. We saw. Humongous. Mando yeah. three extended trailer, which still Mando three mm-hmm. has not been properly marketed. That comes out in two months, three months now. You got to see slash meet a lot of people, which was really cool. Um, you know, got became you know we had friends, became even closer friends, met some new people. Great time. Is Great it time. true that? Yeah, but it, it comes out in in two months from today. I want to say Mando. Um, Mando, yes. Yeah. Mando. Is it eighth? Is it eighth? I think it's I eighth. thought it was the first. Oh, no, it's totally the first. It's less than two months. Less wow. than two months. That's crazy. Woo! And I still don't. And we, we've gotten one garbage trailer. Not garbage, but much worse. Mm. Mid, mid, mid compared to worse. Much to worse. Considerably worse than. But I think we're getting what we saw. Stuff. But, that's, however, the one we saw is late. That's sure. 2023. I'm thinking. I feel like well, no, I, well, but I was going to make. I was going to make the comment. I was going to make the comment that the theme of 2022 for Star Wars marketing was we saw really good trailers at one one day in May, and then all the trailers for the rest of the year were just worse versions mid, mid, of that. Mid trailer year, uh, yeah. Mid trailer year. Yeah, bad we know they're capable year. of making good ones, but not Anything capable of putting major. the right ones out. Uh, Zen Grogu and the Dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grogu and the Dust. Oh, Grogu and the Dust. 
Changed and your the life. announcement Changed of Young my Jedi life. Adventure. No, they, they, they announced it a while ago, didn't they? Now it's Young Jedi Hulton Adventures. Crew. There, yeah, never forget the Skeleton Crew announcement. Hall Net Marauders losing it. That was awesome. Crew. Losing we're, it. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, all, like, we're, we're all looking at each other. We're like, like, like uh, huh? Jude Law, like mm. kid show. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. More power to we'll the Hall Net. I'm, I'm glad they're excited. <laughs> We'll see. But I wonder if they're still excited. I think we should briefly touch on Marvel and DC for a moment. Let's be talking about those things John, a little bit DC. too. Uh, DC is just yeah. a clusterfuck. DC, um, this, is, this has been our, at least for a topic-wise, this has been a DC year. Arguably, arguably, DC. arguably the worst off the year, year for DC in a No, arguably time. the worst, but the best for, the best for you know, in terms of topics. Because they started off the year with this banger trailer. 2022 is the year of DC. We're coming back. We got the Batman, Black Adam, Flash, Aquaman, and more coming. Shazam! More and more and more. Yeah, sure. And uh, how the I mean, how the mighty have fallen. Out, Only two of the movies that came out. Completely. One of them was one bad of them was and has like a, has a slew of drama behind the scenes. Um, their one golden child is the Batman, understandably. What uh, which them, we'll talk about more so later. Poorly, Black Adam performed so poorly that it literally killed yeah. the DCEU. Yeah, no, it did. It well, ended the DCU, literally. And then, and the new new management came in. Obviously, the, the year of the uh, Zaslav, James Gunn, and and uh, oh yeah, Zaslav came in. J- uh, James Gunn and uh, Peter Safran. HBO Max is going to be booted. Got the news of that. Um, a whole slew of drama, like I said. Um, you know, people not really liking this this new direction. Um, we're actually supposed to get some new information this month about DC. Allegedly, um, in terms of their slate. Allegedly, oh, James is saying this, but, no, I know, but I mean, I mean, we'll see. how new will the information wait till we hear from the horse's mouth? It's a, it says for slight stuff, but that's that's all I know. But I'm saying, like, um, we're talking to the information we already know, true. DC, uh, DC is a mess, and just one, HBO one is other th- thing, Warner Brothers, yes. Well, HBO, HBO Max is gone now, or gonna be yeah. gone. Warner Brothers is a mess, Not, yeah. Uh, I will say, uh, you know, the, the return of Papa Iger, you know, that's Papa big, Iger, big, some big news stuff. For Disney, mm-hmm. yeah. Big Pop Iger, uh, he's back. Um, hoping that's Marvel, the best. Marvel, Marvel, I think a, Marvel, good year. I think Marvel good mid year. year I'll say, in my opinion, I think I I think good year for me. I think mixed year for the fandom. I think people people really. I I have seen. I think it was worse than Star Wars this year in terms of the fandom discourse. It was worse. Sure, absolutely. The, that um, She Hulk, like I the She Hulk era of people talking about Marvel. Well, was, horrific the she the yeah i mean okay well yeah a lot of the same shield discourse thor, honestly, i do not thor, follow same but... with thor and freaking um and and, and dr strange yeah, yeah. Like, everything garbage. felt extremely divisive i will say though I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on the very much the mid boat of that i like one those movies were the, were the dark was times like, it was like life and death yeah 2021 was bad 2022 was I'll, I'll admit was better well actually no, then again because no way home they killed it at the end of the year 2021 Okay, I don't know. But, I don't know if I agree. I know, but Eternals, <laughs> Shang Chi, and Black Widow does not True. outweigh. True. Yeah, does not stand up to to, to multiverse, multiverse of madness, Wakanda forever. Thor, Wakanda forever, and all the shows. They make a Moon Knight was good. Yeah, I say Moon Miss Knight, Miss Marvel, and She Hulk. That was good. Good shows. She Hulk overhated. Um, Miss Marvel Miss obviously Marvel, the underappreciated. Best. Underappreciated. Appreciated. It's true because because everyone's like, oh, we're tired of the Marvel form. Miss Marvel, yeah. Miss Marvel was, was Miss Marvel was the sleeper mind. hit. The sleeper hit for sure. Very true. Not enough Moon people Knight, talk about that. I think show. most people would talk about Moon Knight. I think all of us here agree it sort of fell off very hard. Yeah, come on, man. You can't you can't tell me that 2022 was only just a little bit of an improvement from the the Hawkeye finale. No, like, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. 2021. Right. Was, oh, Marvel is up. It's still obviously turn on Daredevil. Best year, well, but... no way home, but also she helped. Good Marvel stuff. This so the, year. that I like. Um. Yeah. For the um. Yeah. And but, um. For me though, I've been. You know, extremely mid on Marvel. I'm just a little disinterested. Um, I'm hoping I find that love again, but at the moment, I'm not nothing's really. I'm whole. I'm here's here's the, what the real kicker's gonna be. If Daredevil is bad, then I I then I'm probably gonna. I'm telling you, Marvel's. I gotta retire. Good, but I think that Daredevil's gonna be bad. That's but my best in my bit for a long yeah. time. I think Marvel is getting better. I've liked Phase I, Phase Four. I thought ended really strong, but I think Daredevil's not gonna be good, man. I don't. I don't know. I'm hoping. I think yeah, you're gonna see. I. They can't I, be doing my, do, my boy Matt dirty. But, but but looking forward here, I, I, I'm quite excited for Quantum Mania. The Marvels is now something I'm very interested in after Miss Marvel. 
<laughs> I'm so looking I'm past 2023. You know, this is how I am about that movie. <laughs> I'm so worried. All the Avengers movies. It all. It no, all. Which it Mar- all seen... the Marvels? Sorry for cutting you off, Ben. But yes, the Marvels. You're I'm coughing through it. it. Yeah, because I've heard things about it. People are gonna flip. Freaking! I mean, we're not monetized right now. Fucking hate it. They be it's gonna go crazy. That movie is going to be like a lightning rod. A movie with Brie Larson, Kamala Khan, and the Spectrum Maria Rambo. And I know what the plot of the movie is from like leaks and stuff. Monica. People are going to. It, is it is it Monica or Maria? Is Maria the uh, mom? It's fine. Monica? It's fine. I I don't know. It's People are gonna mo- hate. Monica it. is the one who wanted. Point, point being, I know we're not talking about what's ahead, but Johnny C's not looking forward to stuff. I cannot wait for Secret Invasion. I can't wait for Quantum Mania. Can't wait for Guardians Three. Excited for Loki season two. Excited. Oh my for the god! Twenty twenty two had the freaking Werewolf by Night, the Christmas special. Like, come on! Twenty twenty two was yeah. Those, those, those are two. America. The specials. The specials. Very up on the specials. Loved both of them. Very up in the specials. So I don't know. We, we won't get too bogged down on on that stuff. But Monica. Yeah. Monica I, the definitely. thing is, I care. I care about Star Wars a lot more than I care about Marvel. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think. I don't, I don't think that's a debate. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever care more no. about Marvel than Star Wars. So. I, I, I ain't competing in that manner. But um, I mean, I, I mean, segue there's to a lot of. Okay. No. Okay. Well, if you guys have to say, he's you gonna make segue a point? out of it. So yeah, say it. Say no, your point. Gonna, I, was, I was gonna say there's a lot, a lot of, lot, a lot of content that should just beyond even you know, the those three, those three, the Marvel Star Wars, uh, DC, a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, that's. I want to talk about exactly my segue. About that. Okay. All so right, you were segueing. I was gonna segue. You interrupted my segue with your own segue. <laughs> Well, I said go segue, ahead. Guys. A couple of segue guys. Can't, segue can't being, segue yeah, guys, what Johnny is saying, we're also into other things besides Star Wars, Marvel, and DC. Not to say that we won't be talking about them more. It's true. But we have, all three of us, assembled, assembled our master lists, our top 10 movies of the year. Not just Marvel, DC, Star Wars, but all of, all, all film is open all film. here. And Plenty. we've assembled yep. our top five TV shows of the year. So. Do you want to run through the shows this first? true. Because it's shorter and then and then do the, the movies. We can sh- run through the shows show? first. Okay. I, I think the shows are going to be a little less divisive here. I think. Yeah, maybe. I think so. But I think the way we're But here's the it, thing as well. On our on our list, there are things that some of us have seen and some of us have not seen. So, for instance, there's yeah, probably so shows that I haven't seen stuff. that we've all seen different things. Just going to that. Clearly, and but, we'll cover that when we come um, to it. But anyway, as so, I was saying, we're, we're going to yeah. go down the, our list here. We'll start at five. We'll all give our five. Then we'll go to four. We all give our four. So we work our way down, compare to each other, see where things end up, see what gets omitted, see what ends up higher than we were expecting. And obviously, if you haven't seen something, that's when it's like, you know, I haven't seen it because we're going to start with our five. So, Levi, give me your five. Buddy. All right. This, this, this was a tough one for me. Um, as a fan of Lucasfilm things in general, my number five spot came down to a, 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 a slogging Duke em out fight between Obi-Wan and Willow. Um, and in the end, I had to give it to Obi-Wan. Willow, oh, Willow, Willow did, wow. not, did not make the cut. I wanted to do, I wanted to give them like both the spot at number five, just because I think they both deserve it. But I went back just to, because I've been watching Willow and I went back last night to rewatch some of Obi-Wan and I watched uh, the last few episodes and I don't. It hit me. I like the the emotion, the, the emotional catharsis delivered in that finale. Is as a Star Wars fan, something I'm just so glad that exists in the canon of Star Wars. Whether or not, and we can debate Willow. Both Willow and Obi Wan are shows that have some really, really strong aspects and are sometimes held back by the craft. Say, I don't know, the filmmaking or the music in Willow. We we talk about this a lot. Uh, but my God, like when when Obi Wan is talking to Leia about her parents. I mean, I, mean I, I teared up like when, when he's talking to him or like that, I thought of the Clone Wars. I thought of just all my experience with Star Wars and everything I've lived through with Obi-Wan and Padme and Anakin and him talking to this little girl that, oh, it's just and, and, and Reva. I liked Reva so much more. And I, she's the she's the sins of Anakin and Obi-Wan's failure and the Jedi and oh, what, everything she represents. I'm like, I love this. The emotional catharsis here. It pays off. And as a fan, I really enjoyed that. So I had to edge out Willow, even though I think Willow does a great job of utilizing the medium of tv to deliver Ooh. a story i just don't think i love star i just love star uh, wars <laughs> i love. Star I haven't wars. even it's, seen willow and i think and i, and I think that's a bad was, take <clears throat> but willow was a better made show but i agree i agree i agree willow. it is not on my top five 
uh, I but. agree, man. Willow, Willow is the better made show, but it's just I had to give it to Obi. Okay, it's Star Wars, it. and and Star Wars. you know it's Obi Wan versus Anakin. So <sighs> my number five. It's true, but it's but he only I, you know I feel like he only referenced the finale, which is not very good. Well, I'm talking about what it built show. to. I like I like I like what. Okay, do you want me to yeah. go on like a ten minute rant? No, about the no, whole no, show? I don't. no, I don't. We don't need to. We don't need to. We can get to bed. We can get to bed. We can get to bed. Yeah, come on, man. Like, come on. You want me to defend it? I will. Okay, yeah, you're goading me now. You're goading me. Don't okay. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Stop. Stop. Don't, stop. Give, in. don't no. give in. Oh, do it, Ben. Say oh, all right. Prayer. Move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Can I do it without Johnny interrupting me? Can that happen? Okay. 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 Number five. Tell me what you want. Do you really want to taste it? Peacemaker. Let's do Peacemaker. it. Peacemaker. Slot it in number five. This was absolutely the best superhero show to me this year. Sorry, all of Marvel. Miss Marvel probably probably Sorry, Marvel. At, at six there, but Peacemaker just like choice. just really did the superhero show in a very new way to me. Felt fresh, love James Gunn take on it. Just solid Good. show all the way through. Can't wait for season two if it ever happens. I don't probably know won't. if it will. Don't know if it will. Uh, costume design particularly mm. fantastic in that show to me. Just like everything pops off the screen. Looks like how a comic book show should to me and you referenced just, it already but the theme i mean i gotta shout it out yeah it's come on like, that is the best, most, like, best the most opening best themes. themes just and the, the kinders band, and the kinder so brothers good. did the music yeah so shout out so, to the kinders fantastic slide in and number five among very good company so good choice good choice also yeah we'll come back to peacemaker i bet johnny what's what's in your number five we will um so mine is so i don't think anybody i don't know if you guys have seen it um, but mine is uh, Wednesday. I quite enjoyed oh, this show. Oh, interesting. Um, I have seen a couple episodes of Wednesday. So I I used to watch the Adams Family's movies when I like growing up, the two live action ones. Love them. Um and uh yeah, no, it was real I, I I mean it, it's okay. So it's like how I would how I would describe it is like a good CW show. Like it's not like Life changing, but it's a very fun show. Like it, it's it's a mystery story. It's it's the whole world is it. very it's fun because yeah. it's about her going to like a um a school and there's all like the, you know there's different kinds yeah. of kids with different abilities and all that stuff and Those it's a fun spoilers. mystery. I think it's a fun show. Lo- Jenna Ortega is great in it. Um and um I mean yeah I, I I loved I mean it's Tim Burton too so at least he directed I believe half the show. But anyways, it's, a lot of it is Tim's vision, so um, I love Tim Burton, and I, and I think uh, I gotta watch it. I think I think product. I think that's that's the that's the I people's recommend pick. It. People love, people love one. for me. People love like, that show. I'm not I'm not for the yeah. Go ahead. I felt like a Netflix AI like algorithm made it. Like <laughs> everything about it, like literally felt like it was crafted by an AI. You watched the whole thing? I watched a couple episodes, and I was like, yeah, not for me, oh. not for me. Okay. Oh. Also, I I hate I, I hate yeah, anything I, that's popular. So, like when I start okay. getting like targeted like Instagram like ads where it's obvious that Netflix is like paying. Yeah, so for, like, I'm not like Instagram ads, I'm not with the I whole like stand. marketing. Yeah, I'm not with the whole like marketing and like you know, I just the whole want to briefly bring up Bird Box. Show. Fun Horrible show. movie. Like MGK's in that such a bad movie and like Netflix just paid for so many ads and like. Is people it works? Yeah. It's, uh, it but it is a marketable. I, it was a marketable movie, even though it's. A bad I see movie. that it bothers me, but we can move on. Okay, yeah. I, I, Anyways, I, I, um, yeah, I don't know. I I haven't committed myself to a ton of ton of series, and I, I did quite enjoy Wednesday because I watched that kind of recently, so it was fresh in my mind. But that's my five. Right. Levi, take it away at four. Number four. Four. It's Miss Marvel. Mar- my, Marvel's uh, Marvel's only uh, entry onto my list uh, this this whole year, I think, for everything. Miss um, Marvel just it brought such a f- much needed fresh revitalization to the whole genre. Uh, the direction of the first episode and the fifth episode in particular, the fifth of which, uh, looking forward to her directing Damon Lindelof's Star Wars movie, um, just brought it, it. Just it made me love. I don't know. I, I I didn't I didn't I haven't I haven't felt that way about a superhero origin in a long long time. It's like true. phase there was a lot there was a lot of phase so four much character. Stuff. There was a lot of phase four stuff that told us to care about certain characters like Yelena, or you know Shang Chi, mm-hmm. 
with their origins. Mm-hmm. And I don't really or, or really, Echo or Echo that don't they didn't really Echo is, is the worst offender of that I think. Um, oh, I think, yeah. I think, that goes tough. I think I think I think Florence Pugh, you know, sells Yelena a bit, but in the context of the story, like you don't yeah, really. She's good. Yeah. It's she like uh, fit. She or the Eternals, or like all of it. I yeah, mean, I, I, come on, like they didn't. And I like that movie, but I I care about Miss Marvel. I care about Kamala Khan more than I do about any of those other characters because of the work that was put into that show and the care and the love. Mm-hmm. And you feel you feel it come through the screen. I mean, I don't know. I I just thought. I, Heart, a lot of heart and soul. That's all I can say. And, and that, that that episode five, that partition episode, I particularly, uh, really, really liked. Um, to keep to keep my thoughts brief. So, yep. Yeah. I think Miss Marvel, we can all agree, is was the best Marvel show this year. I think we're all up on it. So yeah, very for good. Sure. Very That's good. for sure. For sure. Number four for me. Maybe you guys would be surprised to see it this high, but I actually watched a lot of TV shows this year, so this is still a very good rating. Uh, I give it give it up for my man Andor. My man oh, Cassian. This low, okay. Uh, okay, come on. Four it ain't oh. low, and the, and the know, three, know, and the three things that better are just in a complete. I, know, I, I bet, I bet you it's Severance, House of the Dragon, and uh, Better Call Saul. Is what I'm saying, but yeah, I, I maybe. Uh, and or I mean, uh, I I won't I won't go long winded here because you know I, I think we've gushed we'll about it about enough it. on the on on the, on the on the channel, but it's true. great show, amazing. Like like outside of Star Wars, like, I, I don't think that Obi Wan is a good show outside of Star Wars. Let me put it that way. It, no. Andor does not need to be a Star Wars show for it to be an amazing, amazing piece of work. And just uh, all the way through, Tony Garoy's vision was just apparent. They knew what they were doing with it. And just movie quality. And just love it. So, Andor. Pinewood. Yeah. All right, Johnny. Great. Uh, mine is, my number four is um, Peacemaker. Love Peacemaker. Tell me um, what you want. All the points that Ben said. Say. All, yeah, I mean John Cena. I, I don't think I don't think he gave John Cena enough, uh, enough love, but he he like has completely showed himself to be such a good like especially comedy actor. Um, I mean the man comes from WWE. Um, he also is, uh, uh, and well I won't say that. And a, a, nat- a native to uh, the state the I live movie. in. I'll, that's all. That's all I'll put. It. But um, no, yeah, Fred movie. Fred's dead. Good good, uh, good call. Fred's, Fred's dead. dead. Um. He's great in it though. I mean, like, I, yeah, the whole cat, the whole cast is awesome. I mean, James Direction is is there. Like, I mean, James just again is just very good at um, team building. He's very good at team building. And I mean, I mean, yes, like obviously he made the Suicide Squad as well, which we saw a Peacemaker um, first in. But then, um, I mean, even just the the, just the team that was created for um, Peacemaker was all, was awesome. Well, I mean, well, they were all in the Suicide um, Squad. Except they were on the Suicide Squad. Squad. I know, but but we definitely got you know. No, no, character, uh, obviously. Yes. Character in the show. Yeah. Very much so. But, um, okay, good take. Loved Love it. That take. Loved it. Loved it. Number uh, three. DC's coming up. Number three. Do you really want to, do you really want to taste it? It's Peacemaker. Evan. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Well, number three. Peace, peace, peace. Okay. Number, no, number three. I'm sort of surprised here. Well, I, I don't want to cut you off, Levi, but I go just, ahead. I feel like I'm the one who was talking about Peacemaker and the fact that it ends up higher for both of you sort of surprises me. Well, I don't, I don't feel like we really talked about it at all. I talk about Peacemaker all the no. time. I feel no. like I love I, I love Peacemaker as do, as do I, and it, yeah, it lands at as it lands I. at my uh, okay. lands at my I, number three. I watched from that. I like I liked yeah. Amelia Harcourt, and I liked all the acting, and I liked mm-hmm. the characters. Everyone's ever mm-hmm. said it. John Cena was great, and all the like, down to the superhero stuff, all the different helmets, and his dad, the dragon, the white dragon, and all that stuff. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of cathartic uh, moments of just beating up bad people. It's true, and I, I liked it. Vigilante yeah. too. Vigilante was wholesomely crazy and and every scene he a whole scene in, him in the prison he's in the so prison great. it's great i don't know yeah james gunn it's some of james gunn's best work true it, yeah okay and the intro and the, intro. the intro never once never once did i skip it that takes that takes Damn. skill it's true that takes never, that's true that's true because there right. is an and option a... there's a little bubble on the, on the right side well, there it says skip intro so three speaking of of intros i will never skip severance takes the three spot um i'm a little salty to leave i just exposed my last top three but whatever i mean i guessed it i didn't you know. yeah, I mean, but you knew you knew because i talk about these shows constantly uh neither yeah. of these guys have seen severance i think a it's lot true. of people haven't uh i don't know MTV, why they haven't because I, gush, I gush about it constantly and it's only seven episodes or maybe it's eight um either way just if you haven't seen it go and watch it right now adam scott is absolutely fantastic um ben stiller produced it created it fantastic fantastic show can't say enough good about it 
very easily could, could have been my number one show this year. I, Pretty I much watch it. Interchangeable I, my next two. I, I Levi know. will love it. It is just a filmmaking marvel. Feels like a movie quality at all I times. I gotta watch it. The score, fantastic. Cinematography, fantastic. Story, it's all good. It's all good. And I, 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 it, probably the thing I was like watching the most, like blown away with by this year. Didn't make the one spot, but like as I was watching it, I'm like, wow. Like every it is all I could think about as I was watching it. I binged through it in like three days. So very, very good severance at the three spot and go and get apple tv plus for like a month, a month yeah. and watch it so i think that's why i haven't watched it you can get a free <laughs> trial TV so it's you can get a free trial it's true three john um, johnny three my number three yep that's is, where we're at my number three is his andor andor okay um, yeah, there, I mean, so yeah, I mean, I mean, we've already said enough about Andor, but um, great shot top to bottom. Every episode, every arc is like the most like some of the most gripping television I watched all year. Um, I mean, Diego Luna fucking murders the murders the role. He's so good. Um, I mean, all, all, all I, I think it, there wasn't one bad actor. I, I think you know, it, it again, it feels so Star Wars, but it also is just so, such real. It's the most human Star Wars story I think we've ever gotten um across most things um loved it loved it i'm excited for season two and uh i love that you know rogue one is kind of its third and last season it's a very cool concept and uh i trust the team the team is like probably the most one of the most stacked like teams on a production i've ever seen um if you're really going look it's it's quite quite shocking but um uh yeah loved it loved it loved it loved it well so did I, because it. it's, it's my number two. It's number two, yeah. Okay, I <laughs> so, <guess>. yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm liking Levi's number one though. I mean, I, I mean, I think, I like think you, I think you know what it is. Uh, the, yeah, I mean, you, you didn't mention. I think Denise Gao for oh, me was yeah, the standout. Know, yeah. She, Dedra Mira, absolutely stole uh, the show. Uh, my heart. She's one of my favorite mm. Imperials now. Like everything about her, everything she did was it, it was stunning. I mean, and not to mention, not to mention Stellan Skarsgård, Luthen Rail. Oh yeah, Luthen. My amazing, amazing. Or or Andy Serkis is Kino Loy. Yeah, I mean, Kino. Or mm-hmm. come on, Diego Luna. And Diego Luna is, is Cassian. Cassian. Yeah. It's, and it's, Bix, Bix, great. Bix, yeah, Cyril. Adrian Arjona. Sorry, I, I, I'm I'm buttoning in, but it's a good. I, I could you could get yeah, Adrian Arjona is, is is Bix. I mean, Fiona Shaw, Marva. Good stuff, man. Good good stuff. And at episode twelve, episode twelve, Rick's Road is my favorite episode of Star Wars TV that we've gotten thus far. And it, for that alone, I think it deserves. It deserves the number two spot this year. It, it it was a show that had a message, and that I appreciated that it executed on its message. It wasn't just in concept it had a message. It had one, and it said it, and it talked about it. And Nemec's when you you know you meet Nemec in episode four, and you finally hear his his, his manifesto in full in episode twelve. And after seeing it manifest on screen, just in people's actions and listening, that montage of his words over the rain on on Ferrix is one of the it's one of the greatest montages that I've seen. Um, yes. on television and it, it makes you feel it really makes you feel and i'm there for it so this is my number two my number two andor fair okay. gibbs number two spot better call Saul. Oh. Wow. season wow. six wow. now uh i probably have talked about this on the channel before better call Saul, my favorite tv show of all time yes um, good of all time great show. Good show. So, which makes it very difficult to rate on here because it's just season six and the show that I am, yeah. it falls short to had its yeah. pilot season, just a first season. And it really kind of was tough for me of how to, how to rate the seasons against one another. Um, Cause I would put the show better call Saul above my number one, but just as far the as how yeah. the seasons go and how they were, I don't know. Yeah. These are interchangeable for me. Season six, a better call Saul it was so fantastic. A perfect ending to a perfect show. Not one dud of an episode the whole way along for the extra long extended 16 episodes this season. Usually they were 10. So not a single dud. Um, Ray Seahorn, absolute, just like, like she's just so fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to see her and everything. Mm-hmm. Giancarlo, Jonathan Banks, and of course, of course, our man, Bob Odenkirk. Uh, just, I don't know. Wow, I, I can gush up. about this show for hours. So I won't just go and watch it. If you have watched it, you know what I'm talking about. So. Right, John, thank you. Two spot, two spot. My number two is the boys. 
season three. I love the boys. Boys is probably definitely top five show just in general. Um, this season in particular, uh, the intro- the introduction of Soldier Boy, one of my favorite characters. Like just in general, like he no spoilers. Ate up every I scene he was in. I'm not spoiling it. I won't spoil it. I know. I'm just he supporting. is so good. So good. Um, yeah, I mean, just literally, I mean, probably this this might be my favorite Homelander season, if not last season was. Um, every, like, it, it, it is a, an adrenaline-pumping show, um, top to bottom, uh, and, and but also in, in, in particular, more. again, this season. Um, well, yes, uh, for sure. For sure. Um, and... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like this, this. I literally, I left this season wanting, like, I was like, no, I can't believe it's over. Like, I want more. Like, 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 you know, shows don't usually do that, and and boys definitely this season did. They're in uh, production. Right very now. excited for the future. That and there's a yeah, right, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Very excited will, for the uh, the future of this show in the universe. I will say briefly in response to Johnny, because I'm a huge boys fan. I actually did think this is the weakest season of the show. Unfortunately, I, 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 upon rewatch, I actually thought that the finale was not very good. It sort of fell flat for me. I think bit. there were some moments, but not, I think it overall, was still a fantastic yeah. season. But and it would probably end up around my six or seven spot. But Understood. I cannot wait for next season. Mm-hmm. Levi has not seen. I, I cannot I wait for next. Season. Levi hasn't seen a lot of these shows. I've seen Boston, season right? one and two of Boys, but I haven't seen three. Worth a watch. I Worth just never three. got around to it. I don't know why. Right, I think now we're honestly. Getting... Honestly, it was because people were really, for whatever reason, I was we were in such a like a light Star Wars mood, and I was already because Book of Boba was coming out at the time, to my recollection, mm-hmm. and Peacemaker was sort mm-hmm. of filling my quota of like gore, and, and people were really like, people were really like, the boys is like really messed up this season. I was like, I don't know if I want to watch that right now. <laughs> it was really messed. And up. I was just like, I don't know if I want to watch it because it. There's like See, messed up stuff. Episode in one, the morbid show. Like, it's, it's, some crazy, yeah, it's like, crazy it's like a stuff. sad. It's you know, it's a depressing show sometimes. I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch that, so I just didn't. Um, because there's some. I mean, the the plane scene. I think it's season one with, uh, with with its Homelander and um, Queen Maeve yeah. mm-hmm. and Queen Maeve. Yeah. Like that's a, that's a horrifically sad scene. Yeah. It's it's horrible. Sad show. There's some real sad. It's, there's some real sad stuff in season three too. But it's also an emotion. Amazing show. One of the most season, one, one of the most season. uncomfortable moments of my life is having to watch like that woman put like her hand in the deep's gills. I did not like that at all. And I was like, I don't know about that. Was season two. And, I was, and I was like, I <laughs> like the show. It takes it to places where I'm like, man, like I get what you're doing, but it makes me uncomfortable. Interesting. I didn't know Levi um, was so squeamish. What's I'm a point? screamer. I'm a, little, but... I'm a little. I know. No. I yeah. I know what's the point. I'm saying I made the choice. Just like I appreciate your art. I'm just not gonna watch it because I don't want it right now. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I want to hear this Fair man's enough. number one because I know what it is and I'm loving it. It's the Rings of Power. I'm just kidding. No, it's, 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 not. It's, it's House of the Dragon. Who's seen it coming? House of the Dragon season one is one of the best seasons of te- one of the best pilot seasons of television I have <laughs> ever seen. This is this is premium. TV, premium TV, and to revive a brand so tarnished as Game of Thrones, to make me care about a franchise I had sworn off for a franchise I invested what I felt to me, you know, five, six years of my life into, only to be, I really was not a fan of basically from the long night on in, in season eight. I was like, nope, we're not, we're, this is all bad. And it ruined, like, it, it's hard to rewatch that show because I'm like, this goes, this, I hate where it goes. Um, I, I mean, I, in concept, I have warmed up to some of the, like character ideas, but some of them uh, to me is unforgivable. And so, Jamie, J- it's Jamie. Yeah, that that to me is oh my god. But to to have House of the Dragon revive my love for the entire franchise, make me want to go back and watch it all, based off of only like the first three episodes. And uh, Gibbs and I did, reacted to every single episode weekly, and every week we we're like, man, if it keeps going like at this pace, this is gonna be better than like Game of Thrones. Oh, it's still going. Oh, it's still going, and it delivered. I, I think it's Ben's number one too. So just go ahead and talk about it. Like, yeah, House of Dragons, my it's, number one show this season. So good. I mean, this year, like, really beating out some some bangers. Like, I just you 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 put it best. It was a tarnished brand. Pretty much, I feel like no one was really excited for it, even though it like broke like tons of streaming records for HBO. But it took something that people were no longer interested in or frustrated with, and just it immediately revitalized the interest. It hit the ground sure. running, not a single dud. I know Levi was maybe mid on episode three There's when it came bad. out, it but I think he's up on it now. I loved. Every, I think there was not a single episode that was like below a nine for me, and the whole way through, just 
immaculate filmmaking. And I think it was around episode five or six when I declared on our post ep reaction stream, this is no longer a Game of Thrones spinoff show. This is something that stands on its own and could even be better. It is better than season one of Game of Thrones. Yeah, it's and awesome, man. It's awesome. So just, oh my God, what a show. And I cannot wait for season two. Uh, like, who knows where I'm going to be watching it and when, because I don't know what's going on with HBO and, and yeah, Warner God. Brothers. Um, what a bummer. Yeah, we'll see it mm. gave me hope for the, because they were talking Jon Snow show. They're talking Arya show. They're talking like. I don't know where those shows are going now. They've they got all these shows and it's like, man, like I'm just still thinking about the last episode of Game of Thrones and how bad it was. And now, but now I'm thinking about House of the Dragon. Now I'm like, ones. okay, if they can make House of Dragons that good, then I'm there for it. So, just what can I say? Just absolutely fantastic show. So deserving of the number one spot. So, yeah, number one, man, number one. Johnny, you're number one to round out the TV list of well, 2022. Well, I have not seen Game of Thrones because of the aforementioned disappointment. I don't want to invest myself Still in worth a watching. show. Still worth watching. I don't. I have heard otherwise, but. No, it's, absolutely uh, worth it is watching. Absolutely it's worth just, watching. Absolutely worth watching. But um, I've not seen, obviously, I've not seen House of Dragons either. Um, but my number one pick, already been said, but uh, Better Call Saul. Uh, now one of my favorite shows, uh, hands down. I don't know if it is my favorite show of all time, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, I actually particularly loved this season. Um, the way it wrapped up just all the stories um, from each character and thrust them into, um, you know, thrust them into a little bit into you know, Breaking Bad, of course, but then also without going into too much detail after Breaking Bad, um, the way all some of the stories wrapped up were, were uh, one of, some of the most emotional TV I've seen all, all, all year, I feel like. Um, again, all the characters top to bottom uh, loved each and every one of them. Um, I mean, you know, Gibbs listed them earlier. Um, great show. Great show. Uh, great ending. Um yeah, specifically like the, I love the That's I love the last few minutes, and um, it was great. It's great. Okay, and that a, is show, a show. A show. Might I add, just just ha- having not seen it, but I do hope it gets some sort of yes. critical accolade for its the second it half. Of it, been it, snubbed. it has been every snubbed every year. year, and I think the oh, outcry it must was just large enough after. I the hope it. I hope it has half. gotten to them. Just as a fan of people who work. Who put all their time? Because they are still eligible. Uh, for, uh, the reason Levi yeah, saying this because they are still eligible to get a award. The second half. An award second for, half. Um, not that half award season. shows matter, but really, come on, they need an Emmy. I can't I mean, believe they haven't. But they need rec- They need rec- They need recognition. They need recognition. Yeah, six seasons. All right. All them good. The movies. All them good. This movies. is the, this is the big chunk of the pod. This is, the this is what you've been waiting pod. for. It's the movies. Yeah, this is gonna be a long pod, huh? And movies. Well, I mean, not really, considering well. There's a good chunk of time in our. You you, you got you know, there was a, there's been a couple of cuts. We've only really been going, going for like half an hour, I think. Yeah, there's been even. a couple of cuts. Anyway, the movies, top ten uh, movies. I think this is this is gonna be far more okay, well, okay, contentious well. than. Oh, hold on, what can, do we have to pause now? What, what's oh, I know, but Johnny already interrupted you. He's like, well, I mean, yeah, Johnny, what's up? Johnny, I, w- I was looking at the clock. We we started recording at forty minutes, meaning that we've been in here for roughly 40 minutes but with all the other cuts it's been about 30 to 30 what's up i mean i mean i feel like i was doing a good segue there and i, I know you no, go ahead go ahead, go ahead well you, well, you, you stopped it you stopped it. <sighs> all right then redo it then sorry well no i do you have something to say like no no he was just saying i was doing a long pod we got a lot of edit so anyways we've been going for right, about go 30 to 35 minutes so. okay now okay okay well now the event i think the most contentious event of the night the one everyone's been waiting for is the movie list of 2022, our top 10 movies, each of our individual top 10 movies. And this one is going to have the most variety because I know I know Johnny has seen movies like Tar that I have not seen. I know Ben has some stuff on there that I have not uh, seen. You know, Tar, he that's like, not true. You didn't watch Tar? No. You lied about that to me? <laughs> you lied I didn't about, lie about that. Tar. I, I, swear you, I swear you told me you watched Tar. I feel like I did too, but oh, whatever. I believe him now. Um, I, yes. Yeah, I missed the movies. I, I miss I miss I Tar swore. as well. I miss Fablemans. I miss Banshees. I miss I miss so. a lot of hitters, unfortunately. But they don't worry, I to watch a lot of sneakers, but... according to him. So I did a lot of sneakers. I like this year. <laughs> so I if, do, if there's anything glaring times. that's not in our top ten, it's probably because we didn't we see just it. didn't see it. All right, but this is ten from from the top. So shall, shall I hit you with my number ten of twenty twenty two? Well, 
It's, uh, it's a little film called The Northman. Um, number ten on my list. I know. Oh, that's know a for, ten. Wow. I know it, it's a ten. And this movie, this movie is oh. damn good. But I don't know. I, I know. I think it's it's it's, it's just an, it didn't. I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to say it like as a negative, but it didn't connect with me. Like I know it connected with Ben. Like I know this is higher on Ben's list. I know he really liked this movie. Um, but just talk about what I liked. I mean, the opening like twenty minutes, that long take action sequence where you, the camera follows him over the wall and into the village. Like there is some badass stuff in this movie, filmmaking wise. And it, it it explores, uh, you know, Norse mythology in a in a really interesting way through uh, psychedelics, so to say. I mean, like you, there are, you get to you get to visually witness like when he fights like the Draugr in like the ship, but like that was didn't you don't think it's it actually happened? A good scene. But it's like an awesome scene, and they're like, oh, that's like some mythology. Shit. It's all happening. Uh, but it, in it's, it's happening up here, and so this movie explores some really a really interesting period of time and the psychology of these groups of people. In these tribes, it's just it's just wild, uh, and and I don't know. It, it's, it's a great watch. It's a good movie, and it had a little bit of a Mustafar okay. duel at the end, and I liked it. Okay, I'll take that. It's a good, great film. Very Gibbs well number ten. Wakanda forever. Wakanda good forever. movie, guys. Good um, movie. the only Marvel movie to to grace this list of my top tens. Yeah, but def- certainly the best movie the Marvel did this year. Not even Easy. a question. Um, Probably the last couple of years. No. Yep, definitely leagues ahead. Johnny didn't like it. Um. Or maybe he's up on it. I, yeah, I can't no. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny's opinions are always nebulous. I, I, I have no uh, idea how he feels. Uh, I loved it, though. It was good. Um, mm, I thought it was as good as the first one. Namor, it was great. I can't wait to watch it. I only saw it the one time, so I can't wait to watch it again when it comes on to Disney, Disney Plus, Plus in a couple weeks. Yep. Just a couple weeks. But mm-hmm. um, I love Shuri as Black Panther. I just The whole story there it was just re- oh, the really ending. great. The ending is just, I don't know, perfect end to Phase 4. The ending is to me. Great. Perfect end of phase four. I, I I mean, I don't know. We talked, I, I think we did a review on the channel. And there's not too much more to say, but it's a Marvel movie. It, 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 it's an above average one. A rare Marvel film, which is a direct sequel all those years later. Five Absolutely. Years later, great, years later. great sequel. That's a good sequel. sequel. Not just another so, entry in the MCU. Fantastic movie. Number 10. Johnny, you're number 10. So my I number 10, I, I'm looking at again. I, ha- I had yeah, a moment. I had no a moment. way you're changing it. No. It's true. I'm that's divisive fair. on either had... two, and I, and I, no, and I yeah, and I have decided. I have decided, but talk but, it my, out, talk but it my, out. my but my two my two ten contenders were um, Violent Night and uh, and X, but I liked X better. So uh, X is my it's number ten. That, Violent Night also uh, was great like movie. Number one at one point this this year. Mm. No, 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 no. I'm probably like when it like I mean the, when it came out, it was like earlier. It was it was very early in the year when it came out. So yeah, it was like a February but, movie. Anyways, yeah, it is. Yeah, it was early. Uh, yeah, Violent Night is still a great movie though. Like, <laughs> anyways, I can talk about that. But Isn't X, yeah, X, great movie. Um, yeah, I believe so. I Isn't believe he like so. The main villain? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Sorry, I forgot his last name. Yes, he is. He's great. Anyways, that's, that's uh, it's like it's like the most Christmas movie movie you'll ever see. Anyways, uh, X though, X is is a great movie. So, um, it is a like, it is a disgusting movie, and I mean that in the best way possible. Um. Uh, the, the cast is awesome. I love the concept. Uh, they do a lot with it. It's very cool. Um, there's already a spinoff. I mean, a spinoff of this movie that came out also this year. Pearl, yeah. They were called Pearl. Pearl. They yeah. filmed at the same, same time, time though, right? They, and they filmed was, at the same time, which is, it was which is really cool. It was a sequel, which I think is awesome. Yeah, and, and I love, I mean, it, it's a it's a relatively low-budget filmmaking. It's really, there's only one set, I mean, one location, really, um, in this little you know, farmhouse in uh, wherever. Um yeah, I love the characters. They they all have great personalities, and, and again, the movie is uh, violent and very gross. And, but uh, it definitely gets your it gets a reaction out of you, which it definitely did uh, me. So, anyways, that's my time. There you go. All right, my number my number nine, a movie that I know is not on anyone else's list, unless it is, in which case I'd be I'd be stunned. But uh, 20th Century Studios uh, direct to Hulu, Prey, the Predator sequel um no that that is my number nine this year amazing movie completely slept on uh prey is so amber mid thunder absolutely kills it this is a this is a movie that made me want to reevaluate the entire predator franchise because this it, like it, it showed what you can do with this kind of sort of uh you know it's what aliens did it's what alien did back in the day this, this blending of sci-fi and horror and delivering something not only scary but fun this movie is 
more than anything else, it is exhilarating. It is awesome. It is a quick 90 minutes. You know, it is, it is brief, but it, it utilizes every single second of time uh, to get across its point. And my God, the predator has never felt more badass than in this film. And I don't know, like you, it's hard to talk about without you guys haven't seen it, but there are just so many action moments and beats that are just drilled into my mind. Um, Cause I've it, seen it some of the that, scenes. Yeah. I've, it is it is much that watch it. cool. It is awesome. And watching it on yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a great movie. Great movie, great premise, very simple. What if you took a, a classic futuristic character and dropped it in the seventeen hundreds, mm-hmm. or sixteen hundreds? Like that is a that's yeah. cool. That's it would cool probably premise. be on, it would probably Yeah. So it's it would probably basic, be on my list, but I haven't seen it. Basic, but it's cool. So that's my number nine. Prey. Yeah. Everyone go watch Prey. Love it. I think yeah. I will. My number nine. Benoit Blanc. Glass onion. Glass onion. Some I love of, the concept of the gl- some kind of glass, glass onion. onion. This is Jay Leto's Hog Kombucha. Uh, glass Onion. Um, great movie. I'm a huge fan of Knives Out 1. Glass Onion did not quite live up to it, but obviously I liked it a lot because it's still ending up on 9 here. Um, I think it is a movie that's going to get better for me upon each rewatch, though, because I did rewatch it up on it. So, I don't know. Great, great, great movie. Go see it. Johnny, you haven't seen it yet, correct? I have not. I have allegedly, not. Johnny has not watched this movie. Definitely go and check out Glass not, Onion. Not allegedly, uh, I haven't. It's on Netflix. I don't know, but you keep saying you're going to watch it, so I, I, I miss, I'm not sure anymore. I but know I have. He also I, said he's going to watch Willow. So. Glass know, Onion. Time. Good stuff. Good stuff. Watch just, it. Just watch it. Yeah, I don't know. I want, I, I, I want to get into it, but I don't want to spoil yeah, it. Yeah, it's almost spoiled. Johnny, for, so. yeah. Definitely, definitely a movie you do not want to get spoiled. No, but that's my number nine. Slow, literally, yeah, definitely. That's yeah. Um, my number nine. My phone's about to die, so I'm trying to trying to find a charger. But uh, oh, but my my number nine. I don't think any of you guys have seen it. Um, a cute little story called Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. Chelsea. I loved it. Nice. It's an adorable little movie. Um, it was actually based off of a YouTube Short, skit. Yeah. Um, so, well, YouTube series, I guess. But anyways, uh, yeah, the movie was 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 awesome. I loved it. It was a um. It, it it it's a very simple premise, just a day in the life of this this little shell guy, and um it was oh, awesome. And he's trying to find his family. It's it, it's a story of like you know trying to find your family. Uh, a lot of a lot of like very deep themes uh, presented again in a very um, small little cute way. Highly recommend it. I think a lot of people slept on it, but uh, I think it's a you know it's not like a you know like a like a Northman type, but or a Glass Onion type, but it's a, it's a great little movie. It's a great little movie, very emotional. Um, there's a lot a of, warmth. like I said, big, big themes. But uh, yeah, that's my. No, nice. I respect like that choice. I've seen the short. I have not seen the feature because they did. It. It's based on like a 20 minute short, and I also yeah. I saw yeah. the. Well, channel. I mean, it was, it was a YouTube channel. Marcel, it's like a YouTube right? series, yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah, series. But awesome, just it, it, you know, good, good yeah. stuff. I'm glad it, they made it, the movie. It, even it, better in the and I've seen both. Even better in the movie. So I'm not realizing I actually don't have an A24 movie on. On the list this year, stunning, really. Oh, that spoils something. Yeah. You All don't right, have well, one. I don't have one. Damn. Damn, son. All right. Well, I'll quickly yeah, get so through. I, my... I just realized. I just realized. So far, my two are both a twenty-four movies. But anyways, go ahead. Well, I'll I'll quickly get through my uh my number eight because we've already talked about it. But it is it is Wakanda Forever. Um, this is the this is my favorite Marvel movie that's come out in you know last last four years now it's been because it's been 2019 was endgame so it's been four years uh i think even better than uh, no way home is tough no way home delivers a lot of fun marvel stuff but this is a better movie i think wakanda forever is a better movie absolutely it is uh i'm never gonna say i like it more but because i love no way home but anyways yeah i don't know we we, we talked about it shuri's black panther uh tena cuerta as, as namor great stuff Great movie. The, the the scene the scene that sticks out to me constantly is, you know, Namor and Shuri's almost Kylo Ren Ray like dynamic, but then it, it turns so dark when he just he murders her mom well, with well, a water okay. bomb. But to be like, listen, if you don't want to, if you don't want to make the choice, and, blah, 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 blah. and the trombone, <laughs> and the but if you don't want to make the choice, I'm killing your mom so you can make it. Like that's you know that's how we're doing business, and that's that moment is just awesome. Yeah. Ben. All right, number eight for me. Uh, so this is actually 
It's really like a really small indie film. You guys probably haven't seen it or heard of it. It's called Top Gun Maverick. Hmm. Just kidding. A little bit I had there. Um, no, yeah, come on, good, man. Right. I went into Top Gun Maverick and I'm good just bit. like, and I'm just like, I don't know, man. Well, it's like a Tom Cruise action movie. Like it's fighter jets. Like whatever. I don't know. I went in, loved it, loved it. I don't know. It, it, it is the, like it's just a good movie. It, it, it it's a movie. It's an action movie, and it just like, it is. It is like it, it is the re- of a good film. I think I recall you, Ben, being kind of critical about it because there was that the IMAX. Uh, they showed a little preview. Was it? Was it you or Dylan? Yes, yes. Yeah. It was before you were you were dogging on it so it, much. I know I was. Funny. I'm trying to yeah. think of before what movie that that was. Maybe I want to. I think it was I remember. It was Mom. I want to say. I could because, have been. And they played it. They played it in for I'm me. Not, I'm not a mother. Just, I'm not a monster. I'm a mother. Remember, it, yeah, mother. no. The like the little like snippet they showed in IMAX was this. It was so stupid. Like I don't know. We were having a fun time laughing at it. So I was really no, just was like, oh, whatever, whatever. And it and, yeah. and it was the movie that uh, you know, had the longest wait due to COVID. Yeah, almost back as well. Yeah, it was supposed just, to come in 2020, June of 2020. I want to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just it. came out this it year. Re- it later. really did it for me. Just as later. an action movie, I really cared about all the characters, and it just pulls off like you know, just the flying so well, and just because they actually flew. Yeah, that's and, why, and, and you can and you can feel that it it, it really shows. Tom Cruise is lying out. nowadays. And Joseph Kaczynski, the director of Tron Legacy, one of our favorites, um, directing Tron Legacy, and just like Hangman, thank you for Tron Legacy, like great character, and just um, and, and Rooster, and I, I think it's better than the first movie, and just I don't know, I love Top Gun Maverick. Easily better than the first. That's going in at eight. Johnny mine see i'm having a tough time again because it's between two i think no i'll I'll say uh okay i'll say my number eight is um elvis i liked elvis a lot it was a great movie i don't like that i usually am not a not a baz guy not a baz lerman guy this is a good this is a good baz this is a good this this is the best baz in my opinion uh, Austin Butler, obviously, I mean, it's been talked about to death, but he has, you know, a, a wonderful performance, obviously one that he's put, you know, dedicate a lot of time to, and, uh, you can clearly see that. Um, I mean, yeah, I like, I like, I like listening to Elvis pretty regular, regularly now because of the movie. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I mean, like there are some, it's it still got that Baz, like sometimes there's that those bad moments where i'm like, like okay a little too like much it it's a little too much I like but it. it is fun my veins, it is man. fun yeah uh some killer scenes uh mainly the uh you know the one that always sticks out in my head is the um i forget what the, like it's called uh, it was the it was 68 not, special it was like the, tv special yeah, 68 special yeah, yeah the tv special um probably one of the, like probably one of the best scenes in a movie i've seen all year uh so good so good Incredibly it's like no other it's like no other. Um, and um, so, yeah, that was my that was my eight. All right. Well, to, to, to run through my seven kind of quickly to avoid any 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 uh, abhorrent back now, background noise. Unfortunately, you guys haven't seen it, but this is a uh, Fableman's Steven Spielberg's newest film, mm-hmm. um, a movie about yeah. one of the movies, which is it is a theme on the list, but a movie about making movies uh, and yes, about fictional, fictionalized version of Spielberg's life. Great performances from Paul Dano. Uh, yeah, Paul Dano. <laughs> yeah, Paul, and Paul Dano. And 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 Paul Dano, um, but also Seth Rogen. Surprisingly, he delivers a extraordinarily heartfelt, serious performance that I didn't think was he was capable of. Um, not not that because I doubted him as a person, just because I'm so used to seeing him in, in comedy. No, roles. he can act. He can. But act. that man, no, he but can that act. man can act, and he acts the the heck out of it. Um, and all all the kids in it are amazing as well. I don't know. The movie made me feel good, and it has a little cameo at the end. Spoilers. Spoilers for the end of Fables. There's a little cameo from David Lynch at the end. It's the first thing that David Lynch has done in like it's so long, it's so long, and it's awesome. It's like it literally raised the movie since, by point. since the return. I think this David Lynch like scene, it was amazing. It was like the best five minutes I had in the theater all year. I was, I was like, I was just freaking out. I was like, oh my god, it's David Lynch, and he's being like David Lynch. It was awesome. Um, Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Movie about uh, movies and the love and the love of movies, uh, and I liked it. I don't know. Good Fablemans. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay, my number seven. Uh, Mr. Barbarian. I don't know why I put the Mr. Mr. Barbarian. Mr. Barbarian. Okay. This is a movie all about. I'm shocked. Subver- this is seven. Hmm. 
I mean, I don't think it is better than any of the movies I have above it, but fair, fair. Go ahead. It is a movie all about subverting expectations, and I just love the first act so much. It, the way it does tension, and it was a great theater movie. Um, it's good to see in the theater, but I really like I don't know, like, like horror movies. Like sometimes you know they scare me, sometimes they don't. Um, like Hereditary is a movie that like really like I can sleep with the lights on. Other horror mm. movies, like, eh, don't really do it for me. Like Barbarian in the theater, I was like. Uh, jump scare i don't like a jump scare. i was scared of jump scares i was like i it, it got it, it did what a horror movie needed to do so i appreciate it for that and then obviously just flips on its head like you know a third of the way through the movie completely and then and we, we switch over to uh an actor i forget his name but i like him a lot i see i've seen him in a few things and uh the story just completely changes. Long. just along and then it just completely goes off the rails in the third act and just is like completely cuckoo and just like it was it was this fun cuckoo. the whole way through though it's cuckoo crazy great performances cuckoo all around crazy. just a super fun movie super fun movie like i don't th- i don't think it's, it's it's a cinematic masterpiece or anything but i really enjoyed it good so, though great very good so that's my number seven my number seven is um i don't think you guys are gonna well I hope I hope you can respect it because of my list. But uh, my number seven is um, is Avatar: Way of the Water. Ah, I loved it. I loved it. I'm happy to see it it. that high. I'm happy to see it on there. Yeah, for someone who was a hater, um, someone who was an Avatar hater up until about (laughs) a week ago. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I still need to do that vlog that I keep forgetting to do. Um, but you can see my journey that that they're that they're uh, referencing um but um yeah i would talk yeah i mean it was it was it, it was great i mean like technologically i could you know we could go on and on about it i mean it's 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 like you kind of forget that this isn't real like you know a lot of the times um again a movie um that again yeah i mean like yeah i didn't like uh, up like you said like like avatar up until you know the week before um or a few days before rather and um yeah, I mean, I was nervous about you know because this this movie deals a lot with family and and and, and specifically kids and they're a lot they're definitely the central focus of the movie, uh, without getting into too much information too much spoilers. But uh, was, I was expecting because you know sometimes kid actors eh, not so good, but they were great. Everybody was great. Everybody like all the all the all the stories and relationships to their parent respective parents, all good. Uh, it ties together very very beautifully at the end, in my opinion. Um, anyway, I think you guys all agree. But um, yeah, badass movie. That is maybe love the world, way of the water. A lot of water in that movie. Yeah, well, way, of, way of water, yeah. yeah. Way of water. Way of water. Right. Excuse me. Sorry. Well, sorry. I'm rolling my eyes. My number, my number six. Quick number six. It's 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 the glass. It's the glass onion. <laughs> the glass onion. Hey, the I respect it that high. Ben, ben I, I'm I, I'm up on onion. I was a little I was a little negative coming in. Oh, he up on I'm onion. Up on, I respect it that high. Not much to say without spoiling it. I think Janelle Monae killed it I, I also think edward norton killed it and those two are the stand-up performances love the, love the norton love um everyone else is like great in the movie but those, daniel those craig the stand up for me daniel craig obviously delivers yeah. but it, it was janelle and Bonte- 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 i love but he's good but he's, good, but he's good but he's a little bit underutilized in my opinion i think sure. i think i think it's norton and uh janelle yeah, no, who really, honestly, really really sell the movie i like the take but i don't want to i don't want to spoil it because it's you no, really that's yeah, how you you, talk you, about you can't talk about it you can't talk about it so great film Great film. Sorry. Good job, Ryan. Good job. Okay. So that was six, man. I, we're almost in the top five. So 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 ra- ra- rounding off the... before we get into the top five. This is a movie that most most of the year was teetering around my my two to three. And I I, I don't know. It, it, it's dropped a little bit. Still coming in as strong six is nope. Directed by Jordan Peele. Hmm. Uh I am a huge Jordan Peele fan. Uh Get Out is one of my favorite movies of all time probably my favorite horror movie of all time hands down or i guess more of a thriller suspense whatever you want to call it just so good i thought us was also fantastic and then this movie like just you know he hit the ground running he's such an amazing director yeah he has, he has no flops yeah. it's the trailer I'm sorry and uh just like daniel in that movie is just so fantastic and i don't i don't i don't even know what to say just besides it's just like it's good the whole way through I know Levi disagrees. He thinks there's a lot of unnecessary stuff. 
Uh, I don't know if you want to debate me about this, had, but this is probably the most debated movie between the only the, the, thing. I mean, the whole, the whole on monkey, my list. That's all I'll the, say. The whole, the whole, the the monkey. I'm forgetting his name. It's like it's like Kobo or something. Go, go, the Kobo, Kobo, go, go, <laughs> yeah. Gordy, 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 right? Gordy. Yeah, yeah. You were go, you were doing what from you? from Apes trilogy. Kobo, the, the, you're thinking Kobo, Kobo, Kobo. Okay, whatever. Okay, uh, Gordy, Gordy the ape. I just like all those scenes literally had me at the edge of my seat. No, like, also, I, I get what it was about. It's just I don't think it played. Bleh, 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 bleh. Whatever. I thought it played amazing. <laughs> I was in a, I was in a, I was in, a, I was in a, a huge, massive theater, and just every single one of those scenes, I was in the edge of my no, seat. I, like, I the ape I, was scary, and it's just it, it played into the whole man versus nature thing so well. And the horses, and it's. I can't stress it enough. The movie is extremely well made. It was that the movie was ruined because I was anticipating a twist. Yeah, so Levi no is mad about the way it was marketed. I was I was not twisted at all. I was like, what's in happening? My, in my experience, I'd only seen the first trailer. We went into I nothing. was we went not aware nothing. of the twist. Yeah. So there was a twist. Levi, it's just, it was spoiled for him. It was spoiled. Yeah. I saw, like, By I, the trailer. I, all the beats. I barely but, saw any of the marketing. Uh, if purpose. we are going off of marketing of the movies, then my list would be completely different because completely some of the movies different. high I'm on my saying, list I'm are saying, horribly only, marketed. I know. So. I've only seen the movie once, and that <clears> viewing <throat> was extremely tainted by the okay, fact that – Okay, sure. I would so urge you to I, watch it I know, again. and I know, and I know. And that, I'm saying that's why I recognize that the movie – I respect it. Yeah, he's, he said this, yeah. It's just it doesn't make my top sure. ten because the viewing experience that I had was so marred by – We also watched year, it. I had yeah. like – I saw. I knew the whole movie, so I was like, well, "I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm anticipating." Yeah. That's why the Gordy stuff didn't work for me because I was like, "How is this going to tie into maybe something else?" When in reality, it was a it was a thematic tie, so it wasn't actually a plot yeah. tie. So I knew the whole yeah. plot. So I was like, just waiting mm-hmm. for something to happen, and then it, it didn't. I'm not going to so, let that sort of judge how I see the movie. I think you should watch it again. But either way, well, I, I think I, the the scene with the the creature sucking up everyone. And like digesting un- them un- and then, un- and then, un- and then un- spitting them out over the good. house is probably yeah, one of the horrifying. best scenes in any movie this year. So horrifying, it's just yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, like great ending. Let the little Akira nod there with the bike and just it was a triumph. And it's just I don't know, it was a great movie. Not as high as it was initially, as you can tell. I'm sort of gushing about it, but all the movies I got ahead of it, I just edge it out just a little bit. So. That's my six. All right, Johnny, my. Number six is uh is number six of the north. I already talked about it. Uh, loved it. Um, everything. Goat. It's the goat. Lo- I, I mean, like all the all the all the the lore. I, I like the, the Nordic shit. Like it was just awesome. Like the setting was so cool. Like I, they right, shot in Iceland. Iceland. Yes. Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. Um. Awesome. Um. Everybody. Everybody in the cast was was was, was killer. Um, great story, just you know, I mean, iconic lines like I don't know, like all of, like a story of revenge. It's a revenge tour. It's a revenge tale, and it's and it's done. It's done um, beautifully. It's awesome. Um, and uh, I, without repeating too much, but but uh, but I loved it. Yeah, that's my number six. Number five, Levi. Number, in number the top five. Five. Top five rubber. We're in the top five rubber nowadays. Now I don't think this movie is. I don't know either of your lists either. It's another. It's another prey situation. Um, mm. but this is. It's gonna be. It's gonna be the Woman King. It's gonna be Viola Davis, Lashana Lynch, John that. Boyega. I mean, this. Here, can we just give it a second? <laughs> I have to. I have to edit this so much, guys. Okay, it's really not though, Johnny, because there was just like a, there was like a like a forty. There's I now have been there has now been four moments that I have to find because my phone died, so I can't mark it. It's awesome. He told me to get better. <laughs> He's not improved in like two years, man. I know. Can he, I know. Can he hear me? No, I know. Does he but play it's... it for like a major or something, or he just does it for? Yeah, no, 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 he. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. 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 Um, <laughs> that's news to me, actually. Yeah. My number five, though. My number five, The Woman King. Okay. So this is a movie. Yeah. It's, I don't think it's on. It's on. It's not on your guys' list. Lashana Lynch, Viola Davis, John Boyega. In, incredible action. A movie. A movie. A historical drama that people pan for not being historically accurate before they even saw the movie, um, claiming it like whitewashed events in history before seeing the movie, um, that clearly does not. Ah, I love that. The, 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 so stupid. The debate was like. Actually, uh, African tribes enslaved other Africans. It's like, 
and but they were like, oh, it didn't happen. And, like they were, that's what they they were like, oh, did this movie is changing history? Uh, but watch the movie. Like it addresses all of these things and the, the ethics of it. I don't know, man. Great movie. Watch it, please. Woman King. It didn't. It, did, it got uh, shafted in theaters. No one saw it. It did. Get yeah, shot. yeah. And I, I, I no wish one's I even talking it. about it. I do. No one was talking about it. It's unfortunate, but um, Ben. All right, so so we're entering into the top five here, and we in it. My number five is just a movie all about blue people. It's it's blue people's Black Panther. Uh, if you haven't guessed it, it's Avatar: <laughs> Way of Water. Levi's like cheesing up there in the corner. Panther. Levi's like, that's I funny. funny. I thought it was funny. Blue yeah. people's Black Panther is good. Yeah, I like that. Black, Panther. <laughs> Black people's Blue Panther. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, mm. I don't know. I mean, Not quite. I can't really say anything about this movie that hasn't been said, um, but clearly it is just an absolute marvel of technology and just it is an experience more than it is a movie. Go see it on a big screen. I recommend the 3D. Not a big 3D guy. Loved it in 3D. Uh, no, I mean, it, no, but no, it wor- it works much better as the first. It's a very personal, character driven story, so I it edges out the first one. It's a great sequel, that rather. It's a great. Well. It's a, it's a very good sequel. It, it does everything yeah. the first does, just a little bit better, uh, visually and just the story. And I love the villain, the Quaritch. It's just amazing. They had, they had a decade. Yeah, it's true, but it just I don't know. It just looks so amazing. It's so much fun to watch, and it, the three hours really blows by. So it is a long movie, but yeah. Avatar very very good and and sitting pretty at uh, my my five of, of of this year. My number five is um the sorry I forgot nope my number five is nope uh I already said uh, no uh, nope. <laughs> Number five is no, uh, loves it. Um, yeah, I mean, what hasn't been said, I mean, I, I think, again, the cast, Killer, Jordan Peele, I, I think there's another Jordan Peele hit. Um, we, Ben and I saw it together at first with a group of our friends. Um, and we saw it probably one of the, I'd argue, the best series in the country. So it definitely helped uh, bring it up. Um, I mean, yeah, I, because I, I, Jordan talked about the behind the scenes stuff in the movie a lot, and I, and I, and I particularly paid attention to, to that. Um, it's very interesting. I mean, yeah, because like all the night scenes are shot during the day. They just change the exposure, and I yeah, love doesn't the, look that good. I don't agree, but I don't, uh, agree. I don't agree at all. But uh, movie, there are scenes oh. with shadows in the night. It looks so weird. There's like you can see like the shadows of the sun. It's bizarre. Wah, 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 wah. In, the vi- in terms of Go visuals, I- sorry. In terms of visuals, I think it works. But I, I loved it. Uh, that's, that's I agree. Remember. I agree. It's not that bad. But there are scenes where you're like, this is lit like a daytime scene. Oh, right. Well, you see, I'm, you know, the obvious. I'm sure you can hear audience. Uh, but my number four is one that's already been brought up. It's Elvis. It's Boz Lerman's Elvis. Uh, it's it's the best Boz four. in my experience. This movie. This, this movie, is the first really bad take of this. Of this, okay, yeah. John, it was on Johnny's list. Too, no, but it was much higher. Is that like, wait, like nine or eight or something? No, four Johnny's just, Johnny's just above seven. some of the other movies? Yeah, it's four. This movie, I think, is masterful. Um, This is another three-hour one that I was roped into the experience. The editing, the, the craftsmanship, the performances, the music. I mean, I think this is one of the best musical biopics that I've I've seen. I prefer it to most to most other ones. I like it better. Absolutely. Than music, this dude doesn't even see Love and Mercy. I know, true, but, true, true. but like but in terms of the way it makes me, it engages me more. Elvis yeah. is a standout. If you talk about like <laughs> Rocket Man, like Bohemian Rhapsody, I Elvis see, this, is a yeah, favorite. Those, I see. I put it in the same tier as those. No, by the way, so straight out of Compton, movie. also amazing. But. I know, and I agree. Those are that's a yeah. good movie, but I think that this movie is better. It, it yeah, it's more of a movie. Like it, Boz Lerman takes creative swings and brings to a biopic what the medium of film can bring it like like it's not just like a documentary of this is the person's yeah. life it actually brings something interesting to the take of the character <laughs> of elvis well okay if that's what you're saying about elvis then you're gonna love love and mercy my friend because that's my issue with with elvis is that i don't think it really had anything too great to say i think it was like here this is his life from uh you know beginning to end and like it just felt like like sort of like, like the heartless biopic same as uh, I rate Bohemian I Rhapsody. Know. Same as I rate, rate Rocket Man. And these movies just 
they don't uh -oh. feel like they have a strong message. They don't feel like they have I a strong totally disagree, man. No, thing to I say. fully disagree with that as well. And uh, Elvis I, I was can, a weird guy who married a Rockman argument, and but... he was a cultural appropriator. But the oh, Elvis, but, but, Elvis, no, the Elvis take. It's no. coming up, up. It's coming up, up, up. No. Married a 14 year old. Sorry. I mean, what, do you, what am I supposed to do? Like, defend the weird shit he yeah, did? No. Know. It's a movie. It's a movie. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just giving. And shout out, sorry, hey man, I, I'm like glad you liked it. I'm glad you put it up. Like and shout out to Dodge, out. Dodge, and Lady Lawrence for caring for convincing me to watch the movie in the first place, and then yeah. to convince you. Hey man, I'm glad, I wouldn't watch it. I'm glad you have it for. We I had a whole Elvis ad it. this year about it. We have an ad on the podcast. No, and I was like not. I was not I know Ben was down on it. I love it though. I love this movie, man. I'm glad you like it. I do too. All right. Well, I, I guess here's my like controversial take too. So you can come at me if you if you like, but whatever. Because this is a movie Johnny has not seen. Levi does not even have it on his top ten list, which is crazy to me. Is the menu? Uh, I saw this movie a few weeks, or like like a month ago or so. Oh, menu's your and... three? Wow. No, four. We're at four right now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, four. We're four. Four. Yeah, 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 yeah. four. We're four. We're four. four. We're four. Yeah, it right, is right. four. And, and 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 I was talking to Levi. It a is pre-show about putting it ahead of avatar and because those movies are like could not be more different in terms of like yeah avatar is like you know the crazy like cinematic experience before the menu it's just it's such a, a tight-knit script no fat perfect hour 45 minute movie to me leave i shaking his head i don't care because elvis is bad and the menu is awesome elvis and... is not bad that's a scoobity bop bop ass take oh no, it's no. mid i gave it like a five five so but five? I said it's mid. Mid is five. Five? Man. Five? Five, oh, five. I've heard the dude. I've heard the menu's rated worse than that. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, well, okay. If you bring up what people say, man, I, well, I just want to. True. 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 Look, true. Abel, but no, like, but probably all our mid. number one takes. Okay. Keep going. What, whatever. Okay. I, I don't know. I, whatever. Don't agree with me. The menu was just such a perfect little film to me. Could have been a short film, but like it wasn't. Yes. It could and have I, been short, but I I love when a short film like like is fully realized. <laughs> that's that's a, oh, that's a tough critique. It should have been a short film. I didn't that's say tough. that. I, well, that's what Levi said. I'm saying that. I know that's a tough critique. Okay, well, I just want to point out that Whiplash was initially like a ten minute short film, and then it and that's not what Levi said though. Uh, yeah, that's, no, a, that's, that's a different situation. Okay, that's a different yeah. situation. Yeah, I different. also. For the record, I don't think the menu is a bad movie. I gave it an eight out of ten. I like, I quite like, I quite like the movie. Yeah, okay, however, yeah. however, it is. I think the whole fat argument is wrong. I think this movie was a super tight forty-five minute like spec script that is doubled in length for no reason. See, I disagree. Whatever. As long as it's, the longer you keep hating on it, the more I'm just gonna keep praising it. Uh, <laughs> These guys. There's and... a lot to love in the movie, but I well, only think things like, because of Anya Taylor Joy. It's only because of Anya. It's that you not like true. Movie. It is not well, true. You do... oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. He is right. You do bring it's up Anya. Anya. It's, it's Anya. Point yeah, yeah I know because she's Quite a, a wonderful actress and she kills in this movie. But Ralph Fiennes argu arguably has has a better outing in this movie than Anya. Anya is fantastic in this movie. Their chemistry on screen, fantastic. Uh, great scene partners, and just probably my favorite. Ah. Uh, maybe tied for my favorite ending of any movie this year. Um, I won't Good spoil movie. it. An interest of Johnny. Would have been a better short. Fantastic short. ending. Um, Levi's going to keep interrupting me and crit critiquing it. I so I'm just going to keep talking oh, you about said, it. It's you good. The, five the soundtrack five. is right, amazing. Let's move on. Let's move on. I, I love, I love the, what I love the way that it is, is spaced out with uh, the text on screen. Once again, I won't spoil anything for Johnny. I think there's some really great twists and turns in there. Great performances all around. Very well directed cinematically fantastic okay, ben, i mentioned the soundtrack ben, very I, very good this, movie can i ask you this the movie yes or no could have started when they're already seated for, for food it could have started then it could have sure and it, but you wouldn't lose anything <laughs> no no that is not true at all no you would not you would not lose what do you mean anything oh okay i don't want to spoil anything for johnny but you lose the whole relationship between anya's character and the guy she's there no with. you don't because the that oh my god it's very important, and it sets the scene, the scene in the boat where they first... first I, have, I have a feeling, like, like I haven't even first seen the movie, the and I, like, I, like, from what Levi is saying and what you're saying, I, I, I like... Okay, once again, the longer you guys keep disagreeing and shitting on the movie, the longer I'm going to keep praising it, so... It, it, until, is, it is not a bad movie by any means. I know, but now, like, Johnny's like, oh, that's a bad movie. No, I'm not saying that. I, I, I can tell that... 
that the answer is yes that that could have been taken out and they could have it, it, okay well i think you'll watch it and you'll disagree because that's that's crazy we'll talk to me. like but he also said it should have been a short film too so. i think that you can that's, take that's any movie. Well, you, you, can ta- you can take ten, any ten. movie and turn it into a short film but this yeah. movie, no, 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 this, no, no, movie this movie is playing with correct me if i'm wrong yes or no if you agree with this the whole thing is about archetypes of people and audiences can understand like these characters are all just like cookie cutter slice kind of archetypes being played against each other. You can get that without having to establish them. Audiences are okay. starting. I don't know. Like they Top, can pick up Top Gun Maverick. Those characters. Why not just go ahead and take out the first half an hour of Top Gun Maverick? I, I agree. Top Gun is kind of too long. I'm also getting echo. Hold on. I hear myself from Johnny. I think. It's because of me. You, you know it's different. You know it's different. You know that's different. No, I don't. I, I honestly, I respect your opinion a lot as a movie guy. You being like, yeah, let's just take out the first like twenty minutes of a movie that sets up the characters and their relationships. You can, but you get all of that when they're all in the dining room. You can get all of that establishing when they're there. You understand? Yeah, for all, all the supporting characters, but not for Anya and the guys she's there with. But he he also is like a supporting character. And, He's and I would argue that it, it builds a whole lot of suspense in terms of like where they're going, like like, like what's the deal, and you know, it gives you it, a whole lot of exposition about what is going on when they're there out, on the not island. In a movie, though, it's a dark, it's a humor, it's funny, it's a comedy. Ultimately, yeah. it's a dark comedy, so it doesn't. I don't think it, you don't need that kind of like horror suspense. I think you do because I think that in a very similar way to Barbarian is that sort of the dark humor plays a lot better coming off the tail end of that suspense being built up. No, I wish it was just it committed to one theme. Okay, well then... We, oh, and I, All right, I, well, that's a great transition because my number four is Barbarian. No, oh, I love uh, Barbarian. It okay, was so Elvis good. Elvis is a four out of ten. My favorite, my favorite horror movie, probably one of my favorite horror movies in general. Uh, I'm not a particularly big fan of the horror genre, even though I, mean, I know it's beloved. Love the movie. Everybody was so good in it. It is the, probably one of like, the best like written horror scripts i've ever seen put to screen i like loved it top to bottom dude all the characters are awesome i mean i love I, I i can talk about it so much i the, the suspense built from going out of the big oh i don't want to spoil it but when they go down so good uh, uh i just like the twists and turns the jump scares are good uh I, I, the, the creepiness of it, it i mean it, it's it's your classic horror. It's it, it it is a wonderful wonderful horror movie in my opinion. Uh, loved it, loved it. Very modern, very modern horror movie. Uh, does a lot with the concept. Um, uh, we already kind of talked about it, but it, it does split its time between some some moment like you know without getting too much. That's what it's time, and I think that time is is awesome because it makes the character so much more re- more relevant when the when the scary stuff starts to happen. You 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 care for me also yeah, don't yeah, yeah. the whole thing. But loved it. Loved it. Thank you. All right. That's my number, three. That's my number four. Sorry. Just number four. Number three, I Ooh. hope is higher. I don't think it's on Ben's list at all, and I hope it's higher than Johnny's. But it's everything, everywhere, Ooh. all at once. The, the front runner, I think, for Good man. Fiction. Good man. Um, a- a- any movie this could have been, I'm, I'm just going to get mad. <laughs> I love this movie. Um, you know what? Return. You could have taken out the first uh, half an hour of it, though. <laughs> The return of uh, Kei Hua Kei Ki Hu Quan, like short short round, um, That's to the correct. screen. Yeah. He, hasn't, he hasn't acted in like forty years, thirty years, and he just kills it in this. You movie. know, he he worked on film sets during that time. Yeah, it, it's nuts. And crazy? Michelle Michelle Yo, oh my god, Jamie Lee Curtis, awesome. Watch this movie. Good movie. <laughs> Extremely creative. The Daniels, they are they demonstrate what you can do with just with a small budget and some imagination. Yeah. and okay. I, uh, cinema i don't want to start an argument here so i, I, I i'm just gonna no, say no, please i want to hear your i'm glad they like it them. and i really respect the art in the filmmaking i think it was a very well made movie it just misses me just a little bit i don't know the theme the themes like just uh some of the one of the characters particularly the daughter didn't really do it for me uh, the whole bagel thing not to, to, just i don't know a lot of it just did not land with me i think you know it, and i struggled not putting it it almost landed at 10 it was it was between Black Panther and everything everywhere at ten, but you know it is what it is. Uh, I know these two guys really like it, but I yeah. do like it. The menu so much better. Love it. You'll see, Johnny. But, I really want I really want you to watch Menu, Johnny. I really want you to see. 
Just so I can get your take on Especially it. Especially after this argument. No, I, I know, I know, but that's like, now you're going into it. Like you're gonna watch the first 20 minutes and, and you're, you're gonna be thinking, like, oh, could this have been removed? Like, that's not what you want to go into a movie thinking. So Levi has just ruined your first watch of it. That's true. So. That's true. It is true. Is that not true? Did you just I like, agree with him? You ruined no, I have the, the ability one. to take it from a very No, you don't. No, you it... don't. I'm sorry. That is an imprint in your brain. What do you mean, no, I you don't. are going yes, to do. watch the first 20 know? minutes of the movie. The question in your brain is, could this be removed? No, and I'll and say you... if I like it. No, that's not the case. But anyways, move on. In Number the, three. In the movie's defense and Johnny's defense, you would need to see the in- film in its entirety to make that decision because you don't. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm yeah, saying. There's, yeah. like, there's certain things that you don't yeah. know. I know. So I, like, Levi is Move on, move on, move on. Come on. Number three. Bomb, 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 bomb. I am the vengeance. I am vengeance. Yeah, the Batman. Oh, is that is that Batman? I am vengeance. You guys, lo- you guys love this movie. This movie's not even on my top ten, man. Yeah, that's crazy oh. to me because, uh, just cinematically, this is just so great. Uh, it's such a fantastic superhero movie. Oh my god, loved it. Dude. I don't know. It's Batman, dude, and and like this is probably one of uh, i don't know it's tough but like iterations of batman like definitely like could it's could script be my is favorite. weak as fuck <laughs> yeah i don't know listen levi has a oh. lot of cri- criticisms in the movie and a lot of them are fair but upon multiple rewatches the third like, act is so weird it's so weird you've probably seen this movie like like five or six times and uh, like it's enjoyable to me so every bad. single time wah 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 Wah, wah, wah. Uh, it's such a good movie. Just love it. Just, I don't, I, I, I just, ah, oh, Levi, you're getting in my oh, head now. I just, it was, it was Carmine Falcone who, who killed your parents. Yeah, okay. No, like, it was there's, Maroney. There's, there's like, oh, but did I tell you that Carmine Falcone? Man, I can't even parents? like talk about a movie I like without get, getting dogged on it. We were doing so well up, up until the menu, and it's just, it, and, <laughs> And now, you, now you're just mad. Now you just want. All right, is that your number three, Ben? Let me like this. I feel like I haven't even gotten to talk about what I like about it yet. He keeps okay. interrupting me. Trombone boy. <laughs> Listen, man. It was like the young, sort of like violent Bruce Wayne, completely sort of mimics like the Arkham Origins storyline, which is I love so much. Like the Riddler. I mean, Paul Dano. I mean, what a performance. I mean, the, to me. Best Batman villain next to Joker. N- nothing's in. Nothing's gonna touch Heath, Heath Ledger Joker. But not this version of Joker. No, no, sorry. I don't mean Joker as a character. I mean Heath Ledger Joker. But <laughs> Paul, da- Paul Dano Riddler, like easy second best live action Batman villain. Bad scene, man. Bad scene. Yeah, bad scene. I agree. Uh, the deleted scene. I agree. Much, much better. Much but, Much better. Yeah, much better. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't put in the movie. Should have been in the movie. Should have been. But like even I don't know. Just like yeah, some of the the right. mob stuff is weak. I'll give you that. But Riddler mixed with like like a great young Bruce Wayne. I love I love Pattinson in this. The action, like probably the best we've ever like. I want to say the action we've gotten in live action Batman movies has not been the best. Love the Dark Knight trilogy. Go and watch the Dark Knight like club fight scene compared to the Batman club fight scene. Not like, even comparable. Not even comparable. The I Batman agree. is I so agree. much better. The combat is just fantastic. The soundtrack amazing. Batmobile chase so great. Amazing villain. Just I cannot wait to explore that universe more with shows and a sequel. And just, I love Pattinson. So, it's my number three. My number three is... Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number three as well. Uh, the Batman. <sighs> man, oh man. Um, this movie, I have been... This is probably one of my... I, I feel like this is one of the films I've been the most passionate about. Like, as it's been, you know, building up. Just in general, I mean, before it came out, meaning. Because, um, I mean, this movie has... Definitely went through a bit of a production hell, um, and it came out on top with with the with the absolute dub. Um, originally, it was going to be, you know, Ben Affleck's thing, and then it evolved, and Matt Reeves, and it came in, and then Matt Reeves made his own vision. I think it was the best product uh, given uh, the situation. Uh, Matt, I mean, Matt Reeves is, is, is you know we, we gush about him, you know, you know, off off recording here. La off recording. But uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Mr. Negative, uh, so yeah. Matt Reeves, a wonderful director. I have been following this movie ever since its inception. I, I I've been so like blown away by every little tease. I remember I remember where I was, what I was doing when uh, they revealed the bat suit. Oh my god, I 
nearly cried. Uh, that bat, that bat suit tease was was so badass. I I, I still think about it to this day. Um, and everything what Ben said, the actual movie. I mean, uh, I, the movie has so many things. I didn't, things even, like, I didn't yes. even talk about. Like, it was like the moments of the funny moments of the La Rat Tub, but it also had like one of some of the hardest Batman we've ever seen. Um, like Ben said, I love the early Batman. I love especially how they describe the early Batman and like and like you know just how how he operates. First five minutes of the movie could be a short film. Goaded, and it would and it would be goaded, and it was awesome, and it, it set up the characters so well, and it, set up, it not only set up the world, set up the character, set up his mindset, it's, set up his mythos. The he, they explained the Batman mythos in like five minutes, and just five minutes, and it's goaded. Um, and they stole it from the fucking Telltale game. Ha! <laughs> Remember that? No, Remember they did that? No, no, no. Also, no, Wayne's are goaded. Wayne's are goaded. No, come on, Johnny. We talked about this. The, the whole Wayne Arkham twist is like the, it's just the Telltale game. Le- Levi hasn't I mean, said one it. positive, one positive thing in like an hour. Do agree? But I will say, I'm a diehard Batman fan. I have since I was before I can even remember. Uh, it has combined like some of my favorite stories and like moments just of of, of any Batman media. I mean, most of comics, but. The way it like you know, like makes a nar- creates a narrative out of all of that, and I, and I think it works. Obviously, yes. Does it have issues? Of of course, but I I can personally overlook them. Um, it's a long movie, but it doesn't feel long. I don't I don't feel like it drags. I I, I some of the best Batman action. I, I, again, I love the world. It's probably the, it's the best on screen Gotham in my opinion. Um, even even the technical stuff. I mean, they shot on the volume for some of this movie, and you could, you wouldn't even be able to tell. You wouldn't even be able to tell. Um, good job. Uh, oh, I I could go on and on about this movie, but it's a good um, movie. Not loved top it, 10. Loved it. Pattinson's great. Um, it's it's my second favorite Batman movie besides Mask of the Phantasm, but that movie's never going to be beaten in my opinion because that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, and I just uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Good movie. It's a good movie. Well, number two, number two, number two is Lyle. Is that you? Avatar: The Way of The Way wow. of Water, The Way of Agua. Is, is our one all going to be the same? I wonder. I think I think so, but no. I, maybe we'll see. Mm-hmm. Av- Avatar, though, this this is the year of Avatar for me. I mean, I became an Avatar fan uh, in the last like three months, much like I became a Willow fan. I was most of us were kind of down on. It was Ben who was the highest. On I, I was highest in Avatar we like, 1. Even like, higher after watching movie. the extended you're edition. You're like, it's a good movie. And we were like, nah, it's mid. It is. It is. And it is. after seeing the extended edition, changed my whole perspective on the franchise. And then Way of Water blew me away. Um, And I love, I've seen the movie five times now. Four times. Five, I mean, I love it. And I want to, I keep wanting to go yeah, back. You've seen it like four or five times in a week though. Yeah, you I did. I, I, I loved it. I love everything about it. I could go uh-huh. and sit and watch the, yeah, you the thing over and over because it is visually captivating. It is emotionally captivating. I love the characters and I love the world. And that's that. And I can't wait for the sequels. All right, number two. Well, this is going to give away my number one. But this, uh, this has been something I've been talking about for a while. It's like, I don't know if these guys are, are not sure where I'm going to go with it. I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will kill you, Fiona. The Northman coming up high on my list. Low for you guys. I mean, still in the top ten. No, well, not low. Well. Yeah, okay, it, was six six it was my ten. It was my ten. Six out of ten. I know. I have loved this movie ever since it came out. Like, like second that movie like ended in the theater, I was like, like maybe like ending. I became an, an like, animal. Em- emotional. Like, Literally. Boom. Not even joking. This movie made, made me feel. I transmorphed cool. into an animal. And just the tagline. <laughs> Of I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I'll kill you, Fionor. And and it's just part of me believes that this movie was like was built around that tagline. And it's just the perfect revenge character driven story where we see this scared little boy uh, become a a, a, a vicious Viking in, in the journey he must take, choosing between revenge and honor and family and the sacrifices he has to make to 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 fulfill the promise he made as a child as he sits in that rowboat and, and he rows his way out into the ocean repeating to himself his mantra and no well, I, I, I'll, I'll spoil he does most of those things and great Mustafar fight in the end I mean the, the one take shot of the raid on the village I mean, even just the Vikings dancing around the bonfire to that beautiful uh, Norse soundtrack the silhouette shot yes. I'm like, the uh, tree game 
And then yes. Anya Taylor Joy, awesome. obviously a huge fan of her. I thought she was fantastic in this movie. Uh, Nicole Kidman, I hate you for that AMC ad, but I like you in this movie. She's good in the movie. You hate her in the movie too, though. So she's a very right. hateable character. Oh, but she's yeah, great I, in I, it. yeah, she's great in yeah, it. Yeah, uh, she's very bad. Hate, hate, hateable character. Just like I, I don't know, this movie just has everything that I like in a movie for the most part. Just like. The action was fantastic. The soundtrack, the acting. I mean, it's all so good. And it's going to take a hell of a movie to surpass it. Because Northen's been at my number one all year. But something usurped it at the very end. Something I did. I think it's all of our number ones. But right, so you Johnny, your number two, yeah, number two. Oh, no, it's Johnny's um, number two. I, I think. Well, okay, that? All right, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm so happy that all our number ones align because my number two is everything ever at once. Uh, yeah, this movie, cool. I have so much personal attachment to as well. I can, I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, so I go to uh, Emerson college. Uh, I'm in college. We all are in college, but um, so that's where the Daniels went. Bro, you want to say the there. state you live in, but you'll say the college. Yeah. You're, yeah like, you're like, I guess, I don't know. So. Well, Whatever. I'm pretty sure anyone that watches this channel knows what state we're from. I, I think, I, I think I, I'm pretty sure it's been like talked about. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Nothing. That's why I don't like okay. bouncing around. Anyways, so uh, moving on. But they both went there, and that's how they met. It, the Daniels are, are two guys named Daniel, Daniel, if you didn't know. Um, they met there, um, and also a lot of their crew that they did this movie with uh, are Emerson students. Um, they also, for the premiere, I got to see it early, luckily, um, with my school because they actually came in. And uh, did a Q and A with a bunch of um, a bunch of the students. I got to meet them and talk to both of them, and which was really cool. Right before I saw the movie, we saw the movie that night. They showed it at our at the theater at our school. It was just an over, and, and I skipped class for it. It was an awesome day. Um, and uh, I mean, the movie blew me away. I, I, I could go into so much about it. I mean, I, I love the story. Uh, the the indie filmmaking they used. They pulled people from YouTube for like the stunts. It was like it, it was. For a filmmaking, from a filmmaking standpoint, it, it is so like fun to watch because like I don't know, it it, it just gives. It, I, and I and I've been a fan of the Daniels for a very long time. Swiss Army Man is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, as I was, well. that's what I was say. Swiss Army uh, Man is better than everything everywhere. I don't agree, but um, but they but they are both they are both awesome movies. Um, I mean, everything this movie does. I mean, like the, the team was a VFX of like five people, and I think it's hard to be some of the. A, a better VFX than a lot of movies we came, that came out this year. Like I don't know. I, Certainly I just, better, like use of a budget. Use have. of a budget. I mean, like yeah. I mean, like yeah, yes. And 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 even learning again. Like I said, uh, them talk, hearing them talk about the movie and a little bit about the production was really insightful as well. So um, yeah, I just I don't know. I love the movie and I, I love them and and yeah, it was just awesome. So uh, yeah, that's why it's my second. All right. Well. Da, na, 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 yeah, we all have the da, same number one. It's Babylon, everybody. Number one, number just one came out. Wait, the twenty third, like yeah, right at the in. tail end. Of can the we all? Can we? In. Should we all just? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's all our yeah, number ones are Babylon. All three of us. We, you know, Levi can talk first about why you like. Yeah, Levi can go first. I feel like I feel it's an odd. We're in an odd minority. I mean, I feel like we. No, we are in the minority. For I, sure. I, I will just well, okay. Well, my little story with the movie is that it was getting bad reviews. It was getting bombed. Like people were like, bad. it's not, it's not, it's bad. It's right. So I'm a huge Damien Chazelle fan. It's like I got tickets yeah, opening all, yeah. day. So it's like the 22nd. Everyone's like, it's bad. It comes out the next day. I mean, people have seen it, I guess. But yeah. Anyways, so I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I I'm not gonna like it. And, yeah. we had, and I think all of us, not officially, but we had already kind of put together our top five lists, top 10 yeah. lists for that year. And I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to hold off because maybe Babylon will sneak its way onto the top 10 somewhere. But I was not expecting much because I was listening to the critics for some reason. Because I go into this movie, I'm like a quarter of the way in. I'm like, okay, this is really good so far. Like, is it going to fall apart? I'm halfway through. I'm like, like, what's going on here? No. I'm, like, I'm three quarters of the way through. I'm like, even if this movie has an awful ending, it's still amazing. And then I watched the last twenty ending. minutes. The last twenty minutes of the film. I'm awful. like, oh my ending. god, that's the best ending of any movie this year, next to the menu. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, this is the number one movie this year, and it's yeah. worked its way up. I think it was at three for a little while, and then it was at two. The more you my think friends, about it, the more it, it is at number one. The more you think about it, the better it gets. Yeah. Manny and Nelly Steen has been think... floating around my head. Mm-hmm. For, since I think we it, will all fight to our dying day that like this movie is movie. the best movie of the year. 
I, I, we are all floored that this has like been so like I feel like I review think, bombed. It, I it's, think it's also near and dear to our hearts because it's a movie about the love of film and making yes. movies and moving to Hollywood and, and the journey of, of and, of and the journey well. of that. And we're all interested in that, in that journey. And it, yeah. I think it, it hit at a time where I don't like, I connect with this. Um, yeah. I, I, don't mean, so. I don't mean to speak for everyone, but I think that's part of it. Uh, drew me, on, it drew me, it, it drew me to tears. But uh, on top of that, I mean, it is well. just, it is extraordinarily well-crafted. We, we've talked about it behind the scenes. Though. I'm not sure we've talked about it on the show, but there are parts of this movie where, you know, we, we got heated about the menu, but you could yeah. cut out parts of this movie and expand it into its own movie. You yes. Know? Like they're the, when, Absolutely. when, when Nelly is on the college set for the, um, for the first sound picture, yeah. that yeah, short that, film, that's that, like, a short film. it is short absurdly film. good. And how tight and well that is edited. And it feels like a horror movie. I've said that before to these guys. And the, it, my God, especially at the end of that scene, which we when spoil, but the, 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 the three act structure of the, after the party of the lot, the shooting lot for all the silent yeah. films, that's another one where I'm like, pull that out, make that a whole movie. Cause I would yeah. watch the, the ins and start, outs. Of, start to finish it, every, every, every scene to the minute detail. Except the script. For, from there's, there's, one, there's one part that Levi doesn't like with Toby. Yeah, there's in. one yeah. part that there's one part that I, there's one I shot I don't like. I just and I just and I just think it doesn't as well as I would like it to. But it's still you know it's my favorite. Levi movie. doesn't like this one part. For, ben and for, I are very up for on a three-hour movie, man. It is just as stunning. Not, like it's just yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't want to say it isn't waste time because. It never wasted, it, but it, it it doesn't use it sparingly either. I mean, no, it takes its time no, no. a lot of time. Yeah. I mean, and we you're... we have all said we have all said. I, I think is I, I still think it's very funny. So there's this movie called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and You've heard of it. I would say the movies are very com- very comparable to a degree because they're both about you know about filmmaking in Hollywood and, and about a, a transition and era. And uh, have... this movie is a hundred percent does everything that movie does and does it ten times better. Like I. I I don't, I, and I and I came out of the theater watching Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, not even really liking it that much. This this movie, ten out of ten, like changes, like makes everything better that that movie tried to do, and makes it ten times better. Like I, again, I can yeah. keep. And going. I Brad even Pitt like is, I even like Once Upon a Time, and it's still yeah, I do better. as well. Brad Pitt, man, Jack Conrad, that performance. Brad Pitt, John, yeah. Jack Conrad, haunting, so a haunting good. performance. The monologues he has had in that movie, just the progression of his of Character. his story and his arc throughout the film. Every, everyone kills the way it this ends. Movie. Margot so Robbie, every, every oh. character is, Robbie. you can relate oh. to, and they just have a beautiful story. And then it, know, it, it, it jumps around a little bit, but like, like everything is works. good. It has a little bit for everyone. And then just the ending. I mean, obviously, Damien Chazelle is known for his explosives, like musical, like like f- like little dialogue ending to his movies. Oh, it got with that. Last La La Land. This stands up right up there with the best of them, and just what like, am I? So good. I think the ending is good. Um, I'm with you guys. Amazing ending. But my favorite point in the movie that w- what really feels like the ending to me is uh, is is Margot Robbie's character, Nellie Roy, dancing yes. out into the dark. She that is, is like, sure. absolutely it, fantastic. It, 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 it's, it's, the the it's the end of her character. It's the end of her character, and it is one of the best, yeah. like, I felt so satisfied as a viewer that, from, yes. that from they could set up to, to set up to execution to pay off that pay, best one of the best payoffs in the way it did. Yeah, and it was heartbreaking. It, I was like, "Oh man, oh, it's so good." I, it's not really much. To, I don't know if it's really a movie that you can you can spoil. You just have to experience it. But yeah. when they're at that party, when they're on the run, and she's telling him that she's telling Manny like they'll get married and all that, and then yeah, so you get out you of that feel car, it. you're like, "But oh, man, if you watch the movie earlier, you'll understand what she's doing." Again, we won't spoil it. Um, this movie is my favorite. My favorite scene again. It's. It's a long scene. I feel like it can be divided up, but I'm going to still call it like one big scene. Um, it's a scene out in the valley where they're, where they're shooting and like, everything's chaotic. Um, again, I go to a film school. I mean, we, we've all had experience on, 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 on uh, do, doing, doing little films, you know, whether that's just, you know, during school or whatever. But uh, just like the, 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 the stress levels are so there and like just like anything going on at any moment is so true. And like that scene like exemplifies that so much. And literally, like you know, like this, uh, uh, it's not really a spoiler. Like, the sun's going down at one point, and and the characters are all like, well, "We gotta get this one last shot." And I, and I, you know, personally, I felt that uh, I've had that happen a few times. Um, so I get that. I, I just that scene. Oh, the gorgeous, God. the gorgeous it's scene so is good. a gorgeous movie. So good. It's such a good movie. Um, and, and this is just one of the like times. Where I I understand if the audience score wouldn't be high. Uh, but the critic score being so low is really what baffles me because. Uh, through and through this seems like it's like critic bait if anything 
in just uh, uh, this movie could have like a 98 percent rotten tomatoes and i'd be like yep makes sense so it being so low and, and on letterbox it's not very it's it's like a three something it's, it's like a it's like a three nine it's yeah. high on letterbox that's pretty good for letterbox because letterbox usually got the film fans yeah, but on not there. like but it just and it's just like unfortunately it was sort of a box office bomb and whenever it yes. gets and whenever it gets talked about now by like media outlets they're always like they'll talk about you know or, or, you know some behind it's the scenes stuff or whatever and then it's like and the movie sucked and it's like and yeah. the people at our outlet hated the movie and it's like come on man and i've never have like disagreed with the masses so hard on something yeah so, yeah it, it has a three point on letterbox it's a very it. strong average for for letterbox yeah, I'll put that so i don't know if yeah. you the letterbox like, thing is not but but overall like you know you're on tomatoes if you have not gone and seen shocking. this movie because of what critics are saying i implore you to go and watch it anyways uh you know even if you even have, though you know if you have an inkling to even like you know discover or, or, or learn more about or, or even want to be in the industry, highly recommend this movie. Like, it, it's 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 very cathartic um, for all of us. So um, clearly, as it ends up yeah. on number one on our list, and I'm glad yeah. we can all agree on something because so, the love that, that menu debate it. got me. Did we mention the soundtrack? Uh, yeah, it's Austin awesome. Harwood, we, the goat. We listened to it a lot when I was there. We, yes. That's good. We still it's listen so to it. Um, I mean, well, was anything major? I mean, I don't know. I, no, I, I just want to do a couple of a couple of. I want to do a couple of shout outs. Um, to shout movies that, 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 that didn't make my list, but I want to just uh, put them out there. Um, a bearable weight of massive talent. Nick Cage really liked it. Uh, it's the same with the menu. Same tier as the menu. Where I thought they're re- both really solid films, but they didn't quite crack the top ten. But really well made. I mean, Top Gun Maverick is there as well. Same with same with Multiverse of Madness. Not so much Thor, but. I thought all all four of those movies really brought something unique that deserved to be recognized. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll 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 shout, out, I, I, I'll shout out everything everywhere for not making my list. And sorry about that, you guys. It happens. And Morbius it's okay. too. Morbius, yeah. Morbius. Oh my god, that came out this year. That's right. That's it crazy. did. Um, they went to hear see Moon Age Daydream. I was very upset. I missed it. No. No. I'm so pissed I missed it as well. I think th- I think like honestly there are like some movies I think we all missed this year that probably would have probably would have made a tar very well. Tar is one. Tar very well could have been very high in our like, list because yeah, there are very good things tar, so. about that movie. And uh, we all missed Amsterdam though. Apparently that sucks. So Uncharted should have been on there. Uncharted, yeah, yeah. If Dylan was here, he if Dylan was here, that would have been his number one. But yeah, I don't know. Any, any any closing thoughts on movies before we just sort of we talk about the channel for a little bit right and we'll wrap up the podcast. Um, well, Junior, then you want to shout out? Much, yeah, anything you want to shout out? Didn't didn't make your list? Uh, me? Um, I mean, Top Gun didn't okay. make your. I'm sort of surprised I'm the only Top Gun guy here. I haven't seen Top Gun. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I missed that. Oh my god! I, yeah, I, I no, I like that, my was in a year. I know. I feel like that's hard, that's hard to miss, man. I know. I feel bad about it. I'm mad about it. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Johnny got a list I mean, of movies to I, watch. Again, there's a few movies I definitely haven't seen that I should have, but yeah, I, I, I thought, thought I don't know. Um, it, to me, it's just a good movie. Didn't really. Didn't I don't me. know. It's just like it was probably one of my best theater experiences this year. So. Good yeah, a lot, a lot of great theater experiences this year. I would it's say, true. It's true. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Although some garbage ones, some garbage ones. <laughs> specifically ben and i have had oh yeah that's more so about the audience in the movie theater as opposed to the movie itself. yeah no i no, i know I, that's what it was like, like yeah, anyway some movies like barbarian is not something i think you like need to see in a movie theater or glass onion you don't need to see in a movie theater. i mean it's good you know obviously it's better but it's not necessary yeah i liked i liked the theater experience with glass whereas like like babylon like like the northman and like avatar like those are movies oh, you, you, you gotta watch the theater, the theater experiences too i forgot any my favorite movies are better in the theater, but some movies it's more necessary than others. Like Avatar: Way of Water, that's that needs to be seen in the theater. So it's Either just way. like what's happening today. <laughs> well, thank you, Grandma. I appreciate that. Um, I also want to just uh, take a dump on Jurassic World Dominion, which I think is the that, worst. worst movie this year. This is the sure. worst movie this year. <laughs> that movie was so awful. A movie, so a movie awful. I passionately hate. I wanted I hate to throw it. up watching that movie. I wanted to walk out of it too. It was so awful. So a rare, so a rare franchise which I despise. So so bad. So don't go and watch Dominion if you haven't. Just ignore that whole trilogy. Actually, it's not good. Starts mid and gets worse. 
Darth Mid gets worse. So the second one is really the worst. I think Dominion, Exponentially the worst. Dominion is a little bit better, but a little bit, but it's insulting still. It's still insulting to the senses in every in every way. So, but I think that's movies. I mean, it was a good good year of movies, good year of TV shows. I know that was a long time ago that yeah. we were talking about that, but which leads us to next year. Next friend. year, so twenty twenty three, or the or the year rather we're in right now. Quickly, I wouldn't talk about some movies we're excited about for next year. Oppenheimer, top of that list for me. Christopher Oppenheimer, Nolan. Barbie. Yeah, Oppenheimer, Probably. Barbie, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. Christopher okay. Nolan, probably my favorite director. So just I, like Oppenheimer, like I love Killian Murphy. Like like everything seems to be set up for that just to be an absolute banger of a banger of a movie. So I'm excited to see how The Flash turns out. Not saying I'm like hyped for it, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. Sure. That's another thing. Um, there's definitely some movies I missed. It's Dead Reckoning for me. Dead Reckoning is my most anticipated. Yeah, yeah Dead Reckoning. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's probably. I know. Well, I, I know. Oh, I Indy, know oh Indy Five. Holy shit, Indy Ooh. Five. Whoa. John oh, John Wick Four. No. What? I'm excited. I'm just nervous for Indy. I'm nervous, but oh, I'm, I'm nervous excited. for Indy. John Wick Four. I'm not nervous about. John it. Oh, no, oh, oh god, yeah. I'm nervous for John Wick Four too because I need I'm to rewatch not, three. Not, I really I'm did. Not, I really did not like three. Oh, I love three. You gotta rewatch three, my friend. It is a fantastic um, movie. Guardians else? of the Galaxy Volume Three. Oh, yeah, like, out, of, yeah. uh, uh, out of all the the Marvel yeah. stuff, that is easily. Uh, Meg Power Two shows. The Trench. I have done that. This is that real? No. Oh, is the movie real? Allegedly, according to to Google. Meg do the trench. Oh man, that's awesome. I'm just looking at upcoming movies on Google. Oh, you know what? Fast X, Fast Ten, baby. That's my most anticipated. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Very excited for that. No, for real though, I'm not even joking. I love Fast and Furious so much. (laughs) It's it's, they're all so bad. I love them. They're all so bad. And this one has Jason Momoa, John Cena, Brie Larson adding the cast. Freaking it uh, does. Giselle's coming back. Uh, uh, freaking Wonder Woman. Um, Gal Gadot Um, on his back. It's gonna be awesome. And the last one I'll bring oh, up is, of... is uh is Mario movie because I, I I'm actually Mario movie. oh yes yeah I'm and actually TV very shows, excited about that movie TV shows I think a lot of my favorite shows are gonna take or be 2024 like, I don't think we're getting House of Dragons to 2024 I was trying I, I don't to think say we're getting Andor sorry Star ahead. Wars this is gonna be a great year for Star it's true Wars. Ahsoka I cannot mean, wait for Ahsoka. We have. Bad Batch so far Bad Batch I mean so far it's been good or we've been liking it at least. Uh, Mando three. Mando three. I'm not imagining it'll be hype. Going on on a whim. Ahsoka, hey. probably one of my most hype series of all time. Never thought I mean, it would I mean, happen. I'm excited That's for Ahsoka, happen. but I don't know. If we we talked about it before the show, but the Mando three they just dropped. Um, well, they didn't officially drop it, but the the concept art of what the Praetorian Guard looks like, like yeah, the official concept art drop, and that has me more excited for for Mando right now. Because that's like it is. I love Mando. Too, so. I, I love and I love Last Jedi stuff. I'm a sucker. Am I? Am I like forgetting? Like, is there? Those three, and then there's other stuff. Oh, Visions. Oh, Visions. He's another season of Visions. We all may, maybe Acolyte makes it in Q4. But pretty probably. fans. Of, pretty skeleton good crew, fans maybe too. Skeleton crew. Okay, and then yeah, other two, skeleton well, crew. Maybe I want to talk about know. Furiosa, but I don't think that's 2024. We're not going to be getting that. Very excited for that. Yeah, ah, that could be. That could. That's like the your oh, god film. That is my god film. Absolutely, it is. You I'm can die it. happy after you see that. Anya Taylor Joy, George Miller, Mad Max. Yeah, that's gonna yeah. be. Pretty awesome, um, but uh, John Wick, John Wick TV show, Fallout t- TV show, Blade Penguin, Runner TV show. Penguin I don't know right if now. any of those. Are about in February. Oh, okay. Did you see the report or the thing? Anya Taylor Joy said that she has an action scene with John Wick where she fights John Wick. Anya Taylor Joy, in, in and by Anya Taylor Joy, I meant um, I you meant, meant uh, Anna Armas. Yeah, okay. I was gonna <laughs> say like, uh, I was like <laughs> no, but you said that Anna Armas, she, she's gonna be a heart attack, buddy. Cause she's yeah. the ballerina and she was awesome in No Time to Die. And so, so yeah. her fighting John Wick, it's fucking awesome. I think oh, yeah. wait, no time to die was this year, right? Nope. Nope. 2021. Oh. I think the point yeah. being, there is a lot to look forward to. Trust guys. me, it would have been in my top ten. And besides movies and TV shows, let's talk Don't about the with that. Let's talk about the Not channel. Mine, but... Just a little bit. Talk about the channel, just a little bit, 2023. What we got coming up in the immediate week or so. Holiday special. We've been talking a lot about it. I know it's like way past the holidays, but it, it'll be good. Yeah, it's a little past that. Batman animated series podcast. We should, we should we'll be coming back. Special. We have plenty, plenty of 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 Star Wars and Marvel 
to talk about in the next coming months. We have no, we hold on. We need to find this. We have Star Wars until April every week. A- every week, so multiple, multiple uh, there will be overlap weeks as well. Content's going to be gonna coming be strong. It's going to be crazy. We're going to have a lot to talk about, and yeah. in the summer, I don't know. Maybe something fun will happen. Who knows? I don't know if we can talk about that yet. Pepperoni beef sticks. Is what I have. That's what he is. But I don't know. Looking forward to 2023. I think there's a lot of fun stuff on the horizon. The summer specifically. We're not going to get into details now. But and then just content all the way up until summer. And then, yeah, some good stuff coming then. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, like like, like Ben said, yeah, podcast still going. We're going to try to, um, you know, bring back some of our, you know, our older older style. Canon Ketchup is coming back. What? Get it catch up 2023. Yeah, I mean, if you want to try, I'd do it again. But anyways, um, uh, we're gonna try to bring bring more creators on. I mean, that's something that you know I, I think we're a little lacking of. Uh, um, last year, uh, again, we're just so busy with scheduling, so it's been it's been quite difficult. Um, uh, but yeah, we want to bring more of that back on. Um, and then yeah, so, there's so much. There's gonna be so much to cover. We're gonna be over, overloaded with stuff. Uh, animated pod. I'm very excited to to get that going again, especially um, that was, that was fun the first episode. So we had all we had a lot of fun with that. So um, hope to continue that. Um, you'll see Dylan's Dylan's face from time to time. Um, you know he'll be around. Um, so um, particularly but, looking uh, forward to this one. Though. But um, we missing anything crazy? I, I guess. don't think we're missing anything crazy. I think I that, that is a 2022 year in review. Yeah. Uh, we'll be monetized again this year. If you guys haven't noticed, we haven't been monetized. And um, hopefully, like a year. Okay. hopefully we haven't but been monetized in quite some time. For only the, it's only the sake of, um, you know, we, we aren't getting as much outreach as we, as we wish. So um, not and only the money going to get monetized. The <laughs> yes, that too. Because um, the streamer isn't very cheap. But, um, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're going to be trying to be more so uh, active, active on socials. Um, maybe in start of a tick, TikTok, we, we may do that. Uh, yeah, that, YouTube shorts, hopefully. that's up to Johnny. I ain't touching TikTok. Um, Thanks for sticking around. Please let us know what your favorite movies and TV shows were this year. We don't tell talk us your about, menu opinion. Tell us your menu opinion. We don't, don't talk too much about film outside of Star Wars. And I think that's something we're going to be trying to do more going forward. So just to get that conversation going, please tell us your favorite movies this year in films and yeah just, i gotta see lists like, i i want i, I, I want to see a list i want to see a list in the comments but thank you so much for happy 2023 it's a little bit late but i hope you had a great year and i hope the year ahead of you is also going to be fantastic it's gonna be good for us so play us out good